Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick. One thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up Today's gonna be a good day so Life ain't easy, yo I think there's a reason, though Ups and downs Just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high Other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide From the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison they ride uh. Head full of flaws So here come the clouds uh. They'll never stop Unless I can swap All the bad for the good In my head when I'm lost uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Andre K. Bullhorn Betty here. Look what I found. It looks like a lot of people on YouTube. Right here. Right here. This is a real ass right here. Like many people on YouTube. All you need to do is show an asshole a little love. Right? Right? Tell him. What you need to do? What you need to do? Huh? What do you need to do? Oh, ho, ho. too many assholes on YouTube. Say it. Say it with me, baby. Say there's just too many people. Too many people on YouTube that look like you, huh? So the next time you want to be an ass, maybe you should come out here and hang out with the ass. Just saying. You want to be a jackass? There's your brother. Peace out, Bullhorn Betty style. Welcome to the Bullhorn Betty Coffee Club. As you wake up in the morning, you want to find the latest, greatest information about criminal cases and have an intuitive conversation about the suspects associated with these cases. Head over to the Bullhorn Betty channel on YouTube. Get breaking news right here on the Bullhorn Betty channel. Welcome to the Bullhorn Betty Coffee Club. Enjoy your stay and enjoy your day.
all the people on YouTube. It's nice to see you guys here. As you know, we covered a case um, in North St. Pete uh, of a, a mother that was brutalized and um, her son missing. And we had some disgusting individuals come up in here and try to take the focus off a missing two-year-old baby over some petty BS. Let me just explain this to you. And I'm going to explain it to you very clear so the stupid people that like to watch me can, can understand and understand very, very clearly. When you send out binders, when you're sitting there calling law enforcement, you're taking valuable resources away from a case. Valuable resources. So don't sit here on your pedestal and say that you give a damn about these children when you allow a petty, 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 very petty. Like, I don't know you. I, I definitely didn't pick this fight. I definitely didn't pick this fight because I don't even know who this chick is. But you're, you're going to you're 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 put you're messing with wrong people out here that are trying to do good things. And you're a despicable woman that has done horrible things yourself. And I don't really care if you've changed your life like me, if given your life over to God. I guarantee you probably haven't. You're more concerned about what I'm doing with the money that I receive from this channel. But what are you doing with your money that you're receiving from the channel? People see very clear where I'm spending my money. They see me traveling this country. They see me preparing um, flyers and banners and going out and bringing attention to cases that need attention, like a two-year-old boy that had his mother brutally murdered and he's missing. Those are the kinds of things that we do here. We don't get into the petty stuff. We will. I show you we will. And when we do, we kick in the front door. She's calling herself a dead person now. But I want you guys to hear something because she had acknowledged it on one of her lives. Let's listen. Next thing I know, I got a big ass fucking community post on Callie's fucking community tab like, that I'm the horriblest person ever and I'm a fucking crackhead and this, that, and the other. First of all, you obviously don't know the, the difference between smoking the shit and selling the shit. Boom! So you acknowledge that what I'm talking about is true. Let, let's hear that again, right from, let, right from wannabe drug thug's mouth. Want to be a drug thug's mouth? Let's talk about it. Because she's lying across the streets of YouTube saying, that's not her, and she's dead. And I've got public records out the, the wazoo. Because queen, bitch, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't want this fight with you. But if you want this fight with me, let's dance. Because you got a hell of a lot more disgusting skeletons in your closet than I will ever have. And you guys can see, keep prouncing around about the charges that I have been cleared from all you want. But these are actual charges you have been convicted of, not just a mere arrest on a, a fraudulent affidavit. These are things that you, they had evidence to take you to court, charge you, convict you as a felon. And you can lie to your people all you want. The problem is, is you made critical mistakes. And that's because you addressed this a while ago. And now you are backtracking. Let's hear this again, right from her mouth. But if you need help, I will kindly explain it to you, okay? Oh, let me go back to the beginning. Next thing I know, I got a big ass fucking community post on Callie's fucking community tab like, that I'm the horriblest person ever and I'm a fucking crackhead and this, that, and the other. First of all, you obviously don't know the, the difference between smoking the shit and selling the shit. But if you need help, I will kindly explain it to you, okay? Queen, I need help. Kindly explain it to me, please. Kindly explain it to me, please. Because now you're alleging that you're dead and you don't exist. Hmm. Let's go over to Kern County, public records. Let's look inside some of these court records. We didn't really, we glossed over them the last time. Remember that? We glossed over them the last time. Let's go ahead because I know there was activity in them. And I kind of find it hard to believe that there's activity in court cases when a person is dead. Again. Paralegal, worked in law firms, 
pull lots of dockets, understand kind of how the, the whole legal process works over here. Yeah, just a little bit. Just, yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, it is her. Of course it's her. And it's pulled off her, her own freaking panel. And this is back when she was broke, bit, and busted and couldn't even afford the real. I know. I got a big ass she fucking community. Yard. She was using the free version of StreamYard back when she was addressing this. But yeah. This idea that she, that this is not her and that she didn't sell drugs and and and, and she hasn't been convicted of these these charges that that is absolutely a lie, and a lie. You you don't have that crap coming from me. What do they have? They have a bunch of arrests that. And by the way, not forty two. If we want to go through my record, happy to do so and happy to actually open them up and show you dropped, drop, drop, not guilty, not guilty, drop, 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 guilty and guilty. That's it. That's it. That's it. I don't mind going to the courts. I don't mind going through the process. I don't mind. I don't mind. I, I'm going. I'm in court right now. I in my hearing, and you can ask because they had some uh, some stalker in the in the courtroom with me. But see, they're so stupid they don't realize. I already know who they are. I know who they are. I know. <laughs> I like you. They act like they're slick. They act like they're literally slick. Look at that. And she knew I was, look at that, looking back, trying to watch me. Trying to watch me. Look at that. Next time, baby, come up and say hi. I'll give you a picture. It'll last longer. Uh, it'll last longer. I promise you. I'll even write Bullhorn Betty on the photo for you. Make it worth something for you. Make it worth something for you. And you know what's really upsetting to me? As they spend all this time, listen, they think I'm this, this, this special, this ultra special person, but so much so that they actually think that sending a binder to a, uh, a police station when they're looking for a murderer and a two-year-old child, they actually think law enforcement gives a shit. Law enforcement deals with some really disgusting and despicable people, people that are murdering people. Aring children, beating children, abusing children, violent thugs, cartels, mafia, gangs, and you send them a folder on Bullhorn Betty? I just want to know, how does it feel to be a complete and utter failure? That's all, that's all I want to know. What, how does it feel to be a complete and utter failure? Because they fail on the streets of YouTube. We don't care about trolls. Let them in. Let them in. Because I'll ask all the trolls, how does it feel to be a failure? How? How does it feel? Because you are a failure. If I had a whiteboard behind me and showed you all the stuff that I was able to accomplish in the last year, I'll have like 15, 20 things checked off on my list. You go over to their side, you'll have Bullhorn Betty on there. Zero. They haven't done anything to my business other than take some money out of it, which they'll be paying for eventually in due time, right? In due time. But they haven't prevented me from covering the cases. They haven't had me arrested like they told everybody they were going to have me do. They haven't taken my channel down. They haven't done anything quite frankly, that they said they were going to do. Nothing. What have they done to Bullhorn Betty? Seriously, they, 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 they bitch about her, they cry, they cause all of these problems themselves and as soon as I stick up for myself, they want to mass report me and try to take my channel down. Well, let me tell you guys something. Every single one of those videos are still up. Out of all that work they did yesterday, the hundreds and, 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 and the hundreds of people that came out and tagged me and Twitter and everything to look at my my channel and take me down because they just want to cancel me. You failed. You failed. Absolutely failed. You are failures in life. You are failures on YouTube. You are failures to even even put a dent or an abrasion on Bullhorn Betty, what have you accomplished? Nothing. 
except clacking over on your channel about how you're going to do so much stuff to Bulwer and Betty. Cops, aren't you going to arrest me for all the harassment and the crimes I've done? Hello? Sheriff? Oh, oh, okay. Let me make sure. Am I on YouTube? Am I on YouTube? Am I on YouTube? Can you guys see me? Oh my God, I'm on YouTube. Holy crap. So you guys haven't done shit to me, right? But I will tell you this. We are making sure that they pay. You're finding these smaller channels falling off. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. So we've accomplished a lot. We've done the things that they wish they could do. But before they come here and ask about my finances anymore, let's start looking at theirs. What are they spending their money on? We don't see any new equipment. They won't show their face online. We don't hear them making flyers or anything unless it's about me for children. We don't see them putting up any kind of banner to help bring attention to the cases. We've never heard them donate $1 to a nonprofit or in a child fund or raise money for an award, reward rather. We, nothing. They've done nothing. So where's their money going? We saw, we saw um, wannabe drug thug in there banking yesterday, right? Where's that money going? Is it going on your drugs? Your manufacturing of drugs? Where's that going? It's funny how you always talk about what I'm spending my money on, which I'm very transparent. People know what I'm buying. But what are you guys buying? What kind of drugs are you on? Why can't you do anything for children? Why can't you sponsor flyers for children? Why can't you help raise money for a reward? to help find a child? Why can't you go out and place a banner to bring awareness for a child? Why can't you do that? Am I really that important in your life? Because I must be pretty darn special if you think that, I mean, when you start sending out binders, you actually think like I must be this, 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 this cheddar, this cheese, this top gun person, right? Because the, everybody, all law enforcement across the world better look out, right? Bullhorn Betty is coming with her camera. Holy shit. Watch out. You might get shot on my camera. But I'm pretty sure they're going to be over there clacking away, crying again. And you know, they came over here and I love it. It, it kind of made my day. It made my day that I could literally trigger them so bad. And believe me, they were angry. They were triggered. They were so triggered. And they're trying to come over here and say, oh, you seem angry, buddy. You seem angry. Really? Hmm. Let's, let's look at, let's, let's see if I am. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I am. I don't know. Let's look, right? So I go and look and I calculate my time and I got a four minute video, a six minute video, another six minute video. So I'm calculating that right to be right about, you know, 16, 17 minutes of me be putting out factual information and they go on a tirade for literally hours yesterday absolutely 100 percent hours yesterday so let me ask you again who thinks who was who really mad who was really angry because they raised their voices and stuff like that and you know they kept saying and trying to say are you scared to come on the channel i'm not going to go on the channel and listen to people screaming at me because they have no common sense they're not adults but we'll come over if you want to come over here we'll treat, treat, treat you with a hell of a lot more respect than you would ever treat me and then that the gum lady right the gum lady that doesn't take a shower anymore because she doesn't need to she has her emoji on decides to take her thing off and i keep thinking you uh, you say you advocate for children but you spend more time complaining about bullhorn betty than you do for one child and then you look, and then you throw your face up there. You hadn't taken a shower. You have no teeth in your mouth. And you're trying to say that, that somehow you are this rock star? Girl, please. You ain't nothing but white trash. You ain't nothing but white trash. That's all you are. Go grab another pipe and smoke it, baby. 
Grab another pipe and smoke it. Lose some more of those teeth. So you got a whole lot of people on one side. And when we d dive into them, we realize that they are not just criminals, not something that just has, you know, past criminal activity where they've, you know, had a, 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 a like a, a pause in that where it looks like they're getting their life together and, and stuff like that. No, we've got people that are literally criminals that are breaking the law. Look at Aileen or a Aileen or whatever her name was, right? Coming out there, wanting to pass my mugshot around. And this lady has more mugshots than you know what to do with for petty theft. The bitch got sticky fingers. Sorry, guys, for using the cuss words. I'll, I'll relax. I know I got, I can say what I mean and mean what I say without saying it with all those cuss words, right? But sometimes it just fall out. Because <laughs> I do have a sailor's mouth when this camera's off. <laughs> so they do fall out. So forgive me, forgive me. Lord knows I need God, right? Um. But look, she's going, trying to go around and, and, and humiliate me. It doesn't humiliate me. I own my life. I own it. Why wouldn't I own it? I, I did things that I'm not proud of, but there was a lot more going behind the scenes than people know. They don't understand the abuse. They don't understand all the stuff that I went through. And I realized it's not everybody else. It was me. So I had to fix me. Nobody else was going to fix me but me. I own my stuff. I am so proud of how far I've come. I'm so proud of everything I've been able to accomplish. I am so proud of being a good upstanding citizen and not being this garbage. And I pride myself of that. I pride myself of that. And so they're going to try to tell you that we're lying over here. And I then I come to find out. Now, you guys know I'm not a fan of that, uh, that uh, Jim Terry guy. Not a fan of him. Won't talk to him. Won't work with him. Um, won't have anything to do with him. And, uh, you know, I, I have integrity and once I, once you, you know, mm, no, done. Right. So then I find out he's actually looking into this because somebody in the chat told me yesterday that they thought I was working with him and, in lips. I, I don't even know who lips is. I, I think she's been in this chat, maybe a handful of times. I have no clue who she is. None whatsoever. Don't know lips. I, I know Jim Terry, but I, I don't work with them. And so then they try to say that that guidance was feeding me information about the case. I can tell you that she had no idea I was even running this. So again, these people have no factual, they're assuming this stuff and it because they think it, they think it is true. And then I find it awfully funny that we have all these creators that don't like each other, but definitely don't like this, this wannabe drug thug. And so we're not communicating yet we're all leading to the same information so we're not working together but we're all coming to the same result that should be powerful for everybody that should be powerful for everybody you got a whole bunch of creators here that aren't working together that are coming to the same result and now she's she's lying about it. And and then we we salute. I mean, that's what we do. We salute. This is not my work, by the way. Not my work. But God bless you, whoever work this is. And then we get this. On Callie's fucking community tab, let that I'm the horriblest person ever, and I'm a fucking crackhead, and this, that, and the other. First of all, you obviously don't know the the difference between smoking the shit and selling the shit. I don't know. To me, that's pretty cut and dry. To me, that's pretty cut and dry. So now, Rebecca, aka wannabe drug thug, please tell me, what say you now? What say you now? Oh, she's triggered. She's triggered because she knows the lies are coming to an end. There's only so much. The, the difference is, is we investigate. That's what they don't understand. We don't, we don't, we're not willy nilly people. We're not, oh, you know, we don't need uh, safe spaces and coloring books over here on Bullhorn Betty channel. We actually go out there and dig around. We know how to look at this. And despite, and despite what they want to say about me not being media, yes, under the law, I don't care what their opinion is. Under the law, I am media. Under the law, 
I am media. And that's all that matters. That is all that matters. I could care less what their opinion of it is. And because of that, I can dig into these cases and I can ask for record requests and I can get those record requests and I can get even more than that. And I have certain accesses to certain databases that other people don't have. But that's okay. That's okay. You're okay. I'm wearing some awesome clothes today. I am in blue. You know, believe it or not, blue, people don't realize, but blue, I, even though I have a lot of pink stuff, it's because I was a tomboy growing up and I'm kind of, you know, more girly now. But my favorite color was blue. My, my absolute favorite color is electric metallic blue. That was the color of my first car, God bless my mother. When I got my first car, she took it to the paint shop and had it painted my favorite color. What a great mom, huh? Unfortunately, I wrecked that car within two months, literally two months to the day. I was devastated. Crack on. <laughs> I have a one. That's too funny. You know what? That's too funny. That's too funny. Jennifer! Oh, oh, I got to show you guys something. You know what I'm doing? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What did I do with it? What did I do with it? Hold on. I got to find it. Talking about Jennifer L. She ordered it. She ordered it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Man, every time I hear her voice, I can't stop laughing. Say no to drugs, kiddos. Oh, wait. She gives them to the children. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's 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 the, the crap she does. But what what is wanna be drug thug? Oh, let's see. W what comes out of her mouth? Oh, 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 are you sure? Let's check again. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. <laughs> oh, what? What? What did you say? What did you say? Wanna be drug thug? Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Oh, okay, okay. So we have now all been warned. Okay, we've all been warned. Let, let, let me hear. What, 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 what about a wanna, wanna be drug thug? What? What you got for Bullhorn Betty? What you got for Blue Let Let me sit here and wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you know what I hear? That was bullshit. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Good try. Good try. Good try. So, um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that that she's the the, the veil the veil of lies on her side. You know, you you want to come out and come out of, for Bullhorn Betty, that's fine. You can keep coming after me, but as you keep coming after me, we're going to keep throwing stuff out about you cuz you're you you got some pretty serious stuff there. Three-time felon. Uh three-time felon uh versus a two-time misdemeanor girl. <laughs> and you actually think you honestly think that these law enforcement that are chasing mafia and murderers and rapists Give a crap about Bullhorn Betty. <laughs> I'm just, these people, like seriously, have no earthly idea. They, these people are flipping insane. They, they, like they really think that I am a god or something. That, that, that uh, law enforcement's just going to stop what they're doing and come and arrest me because they sent them a flipping binder. <laughs> Go mass report me. Go mass report me and come back here and watch this video tomorrow. Right? Because that works. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mass report. Go mass report. I'm the worst person on YouTube. Oh, my God. Every one of their videos is still up. You guys did such a great job. Again, how does it feel? Just, I'm just curious. How does it feel to be a failure? How does it feel to be a failure? You're never going to be successful. Hate is not successful. It's not the retirement plan, baby. 
all you're doing is, is causing yourself a lot of problems you really don't want. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You're causing yourself a mess of problems you don't want. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. All right, guys, we got to listen to the button, okay? I, 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 when I ordered this, I said I need the truth, the truth button. And when, when I asked for the truth button, this is what came. Bullshit level, DEFCON 5. <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun with this, Jennifer. It's not even funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but let's, 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 let, let's listen to, to, to make sure. I mean, because... You know, we we were told um, by wannabe drug thug, we were told uh, that that she's dead, and that's not her. Okay, well then, if it's not you, why are you acknowledging it? Let's listen to it again. Need help? I will kindly explain it to you. Okay. Oh, I started over again. It does that. Next thing I know, I got a big ass fucking community post on Callie's fucking community tab that, that I'm the horriblest person ever and I'm a fucking crackhead and this, that, and the other. First of all, you obviously don't know the, the difference between smoking the shit and selling the shit. But if you need help, I will kindly explain it to you, okay? All right, well, explain it to me. Queen B, I know you're watching. I know your subs are. Come on over to the Bullhorn Betty channel. Let's put you up on mine. Can you explain this to me? Can you explain what we're watching? Are you going to continue to play me that this person, this Rebecca Turner, is dead? Because there's a lot of activity in that court record going on in 2023 for some for a dead woman. That's all I'm saying. That's a dude. <laughs> she, I don't know. Uh, you know, drugs, smoking stuff does a lot to your voice. I remember I could probably find some videos of where, you know, before I stopped smoking cigarettes um, and other things, right? I was still, I mean, let's be honest. I have a, I have a past that incorporates marijuana and, and other substances in that. So I remember my voice being really hoarse. Even when I'm on my, um, my uh, bullhorn too much, I get a hoarse voice. That's a manly itch. <laughs> Nice language. It's because they're they're ignorant people, guys. And you guys are going over there and listening to them about these kids. And I'm thinking, these people have no education. They literally have no education. They don't even some of these people that are talking to you don't even have a high school diploma. They didn't even go through school, let alone just a, a tiny little bit of higher education. None. They have no idea even about the law. They don't even know about terms of service for the love of God. And if I couldn't have proved it any better myself than yesterday, I don't know how I could have approved how I could have proved it any different. Because they think if they if they come after somebody and just mass report them, YouTube's just going to take them down. I have now proved them wrong. They are failures. They are failures. They lie to their audience. They make their audience jump through all of these damn hoops to go and attack somebody. And guess what? At the end of the day, not even a bruise on Bullhorn Betty. And look at all how, how many countless hours they worked yesterday. Now, if they can't even do that right, come on. Come on. I know she's lying. Of course she's going to lie. be lying. It's okay. It's okay. Let's see how many lies she's got today. Go over there and count how many lies. Because all she's going to be doing is spewing lies. Spewing lies. It wasn't her. The woman's dead. How dare Betty coming after a dead woman? Boo hoo. Give me the obituary. Show your face. Show your face. The reason why she refuses, because trust me, if, if, if somebody was coming out and I had an avatar coming out with all this, these, these felonies, and, and I'm trying to prove that that's not me, I'm showing my damn face. I am showing my face. She won't. You know why? Because her face will match those mugshots. Those face will match those mugshots. Yeah. Show us the obituary. 
Give me, give me the, give me the obituary. If this woman's dead, hey, you don't want to show your face? Give me the obituary. I will run it down. I will run, I will run every bit of it down. Give it to me. You know I got it. You know I can do it. Done it many times before. Don't want to show your face? Show me the event. Where these people come from, the town is trouble. I have no idea where they come from. Bullhorn Betty, if you want to have uh, Kaylee come on your panel and talk to you about what she went through with Queen, I'm sure she will. Well, then get her over here. She wants to come up here. I'll pull her up now. I'll pull her up now. But, you know, the bullying's going to stop. The good, the good news is, is I, I'm not a bully. But I know how to stick up for myself to bullies. And I know how to do it with grace and integrity. So keep, keep lying to me about this dead woman. We'll get to the bottom of it. You can ask anybody. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. But go ahead. Go ahead. Keep mass reporting me. And, and you know, they've done that. They, they've tried to mass report me literally for the last two years. Mass report me. Year and a half. Mass report me. Do you know I've never, I've never even had a community strike? Like literally failures. Waste of space. Waste of time. They could have taken all of that injury, that that uh, all of that energy, and put it toward helping a child, or helping a family, and they chose to use it for hate. And then they're they're going on their panels and trying to point the finger at Bullhorn Betty. People see me. People, I'm on I'm online all every day, every day. People know me. They know me. They're trying to make that stretch to make themselves look better and make me look like crap, honey. There there is nothing. People can see with their own eyes. People can hear with their own ears. And I can tell you, people come here and they want, uh, some people like the drama. Some people want facts and truth. But you don't even know how to do proper research. You literally don't know how to do proper research. You don't even know what you're reading. You don't even know the law or half of the legal terms in any of these papers. You don't know what the process is in court. You literally have no education. None. You have no knowledge. So don't be mad at me because I have, I, I actually went to school. I paid attention. I made great grades. I graduated in the top 2% of my class with honors on the dean's list. I'm sorry you couldn't do it. That's not my fault. You having a miserable life and not going anywhere in your life. That's not Bullhorn Betty's fault. Okay, I'm sorry that you're living the crappy life you're living and you got nothing better to do than complain about me. But I can promise you, law enforcement don't care about Bullhorn Betty. You can send them as many binders as you want. It hasn't prevented me from doing jack shit. I walk when I want to walk. I talk when I want to talk. If I want to get my bullhorn out and protest, by God, I'm going to do it. And you know what? You're going to still sit over there and keep complaining, miserably complaining. And that's okay. That makes my day. Knowing that I trigger you makes my day. I slept very well last night. Actually, I slept so well, I didn't even feel like getting up this morning. And I'm like, but there's a two-year-old baby that needs me. There's a story that needs to be told. And so we went out there. But I wanted to make sure that we, we realized that, no, we're not going to get off. Uh, uh, you, until you take your foot off my neck, I ain't taking my foot off your neck, baby. I am getting sick and tired that you guys think I'm going to sit here and just keep taking this stuff and not exposing the, the hypocrisy from you. Where you're allowed to talk about children in cases, but I'm not. Where you're allowed to make money on YouTube, but I'm not. Where you're allowed to spend your money that you make off YouTube on whatever you want, but I, I'm not. That you're, you're somehow so superior to me with your drug addiction, your criminal record, and your lack of knowing what even a, being an adult is all about, your immaturity, and your vulgar language. Okay? You're not going to do anything to me. Nothing. You're not going to take me off YouTube. You're not going to... Get me on copyrights because I don't steal your work. You steal mine. Um, I'm not going to be injured if somebody assaults me. I'm either going to shoot them or they're going to go to jail. It's pretty simple. 
So I'm not really worried. That's why I'm able to go to all these places and not be really in fear because I don't care. I got the law behind me and I got men in blue with guns and cuffs behind me. I could care less. Do what you guys gotta do. Go waste your time on bringing up Bullhorn Betty. Bullhorn Betty, Bullhorn Betty, Bullhorn Betty. I'm glad I put money in your pocket, but that money is gonna be going away. That money's gonna be going away. So if you wanna keep going down this, this road, wanna be drug thug, we'll keep going down this road. But I can guarantee you the skeletons in your closet, you really wanna keep hidden. So if you wanna keep those skeletons hidden, maybe you should leave me alone. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep throwing the stuff out and throwing the stuff out until everybody knows exactly who you are and how you lie to them. Because you're sitting here saying you've never done this, that the person that did this is dead. Can you explain this to me? Thing I know, I got a big ass fucking community post on Callie's fucking community tab that I'm the horriblest person ever and I'm a fucking crackhead and this, that, and the other. First of all, you obviously don't know the the difference between smoking the shit and selling the shit. So she acknowledges selling but the shit. But if you need help, I will kindly explain it to you, okay? Yeah, well, queen, yeah, I need help. Kindly explain it to me. Because you just told everybody yesterday this ain't you. So yeah, we need an explanation. We sure do. We sure do. Let me go through the super chats because I know I missed a few. I know I missed a few. Let's see. She's asking people to respect Molly's mom's passing and taking the high ground. Well, that is quite mature of her. And yes, and, and just to let you know, I have reached out uh, to Marissa, as you can understand, she probably, she's not gonna answer the phone today, uh, but I did reach out to her, not just by text, but I, I thought that something like this um, deserved a, a phone call. And to be honest with you, when I was even leaving the message on um, the phone, it, it, my, I could tell I was about to start crying. I'm, I'm actually just thinking about it. It's making me almost wanna cry now because you know, this is a mom, You know, this is her mom. And no matter how you feel, um, good, bad, or ugly, um, uh, about Marissa, it doesn't, it's no consequence. I mean, at the end of the day, she's lost her mother and, and nobody understands that pain like somebody else that has lost their mother. I am so fortunate that I have not lost my mother. I still have my mom and uh, I can't imagine even it. I don't even want to think I, I, I would lose my stuff. Even the thought of losing my mother. But it's hard watching somebody just, it's just sad. It's just sad. Um, and I don't know what else to do, but just pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her family. Just send out good vibes out into the world. Um, you know, that really is all we can do for Marissa. And, you know, in all fairness, and I'm going to say this, is when, um, and I don't care, I, I totally... Um, think uh, BK is disgusting. I don't like him. And I'm not talking about Brian Koberger. Um, I don't like him. I, I have no respect for him. Um, I would be, you know, as, as with anybody, whether I like him or not, if I can't stand him that much, I either walk away or, you know, be very, you know, very cautious, but courteous, you know, in person, uh, I'm very respectful. I'm very respectful. And uh, until I don't have to be, right? When you got me running around all over Tennessee like a chicken with my head cut off, promising you're going to meet with me, and you don't, <laughs> you might get you might get the might get a little ang angrier, Betty, than you would have gotten if you just sat down with me, right? Uh, but I have no respect for B BK, and you know he came after a like like a lot of these other scumbags out here on YouTube come after Dolly after he lost his brother, and when BK lost his sister, and that was like like we don't even talk about BK anymore. We don't even so we don't even look at his stuff. We don't nothing like he is a nobody to me. Um, but still, we 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 gave him we we were bashing each other at that time. All of us were, um, you know, over that Summer Wells case and and his hypocrisy and and, and all this other crap. And he, whether it was his real sister or a friend, I know family, you know, it's the family that you, you, you get to choose, right? And your fam, your, your friends that are family. So I don't know if it was really his sister. I can't really think that that that's actually his biological sister, but 
either way, it was a, a, a person that he called sister and she uh, died of a drug overdose. You know what we did? You know, what Dolly, as well as I did uh, and other creators, we didn't, we gave him two weeks, two weeks to recover from um, that loss. We didn't talk about him. We didn't, um, we weren't nasty, rude or anything like that. Yet he did not provide the same courtesy when Dolly lost his brother. And I don't care if whatever, I don't care if it was the one that, that is accused of doing those horrible acts or not. That has nothing to do with Dolly. If you sat there and told me that I have to be responsible for my entire family or their conduct, I would, I, my family, half of my family are drug addicts and alcoholics out in uh, Polk County. You know, God knows what they do. If I had to, if I literally had to, um, you know, be responsible for everything that one of my family members did, and that's just totally unfair. Like, I, I, I don't know what they do. I don't have anything to do with them. But I, if I had to be responsible, like, I got some crazy ass family. The good news is I got some crazy ass family. The bad news is, is I got some crazy ass family, right? So it, it was really, it was really uh, disgusting to watch people attack Dolly whenever he lost his brother. And uh, I hope people are a little more mature and uh, a little adult-like on here uh, to respect Molly. She doesn't deserve to be bashed. She lost her mother, and if you don't, if you haven't experienced that and don't know the pain of losing a a, a, a mom, you you need to step back and just let this air out a little bit. But you know, we don't have we have scumbags on YouTube, so I doubt people. Uh, we'll do that. They're going to jump on at everything. And, you know, the ones that do, at least they're identifying themselves as a scumbag. And you know who to avoid. So let me go over here. And I, I, I know I think I missed some um, uh, some uh, super stat shots and super stickers. So let me just go through this. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I missed a lot. Hold on. Let me just see if I can go up into the um, chat because I'd like to show them. There's There's quite a few. Sorry, guys. I just missed a, a bunch. I didn't realize they were coming in. I was just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. But yeah, big mad, big mad. Uh, they're they're super, super big mad. And uh, she kept saying yesterday that this was not her. This woman was dead. I don't have any proof. Da, 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 da. We put together this video. I'm going to go ahead and play this while I search for everybody's stuff. What's up, YouTube? Bullhorn Betty. We are covering our true crime case. Our, our true crime case is... Uh, Rebecca Turner, she uh, is a criminal that sold uh, drugs to children. We went over her docket this morning, um, and we were told, because Rebecca Turner is Queen Bee, and we were told by Queen Bee that this woman is dead and not her. So I went back and checked out the cases again, and sure enough, there is activity going on in some of those cases that we showed this morning in 2023. That is not indicative of somebody being dead. If somebody is dead, those cases get closed immediately because they can't prosecute a defendant or hold a defendant accountable when they're deceased. So that's a lie. But as we all know, you know, YouTube is a, a great place to be at times, unless you're a criminal like Queen B. And then if you are, you have problems, but let me just back up a little bit. So I received finally a video for confirmation uh, of her voice. You gotta need, you gotta have to check this out. We're gonna play it in just a second. So before I play it, I, I got this video of her talking to a news organization, Rebecca Turner, about a man being shot, her neighbor being shot, um, and we got the clip from this morning. Listen to their voices. So now, not only does Queen B, Rebecca Turner have a um, same have the same birth date, address, phone number, and now the same voice as a deceased woman that lived in her house, ironically also named Rebecca Turner. So I think we can finally put the this to bed that Rebecca Turner, um, Queen B, that that entire case is absolutely hers. Here are the two clips. Let me know for yourself. Do you believe that Rebecca Turner on the video clip is the same Rebecca Turner on the second clip from Queen Bee's channel? I am using Queen Bee's video, right? A little tiny sliver of her video for criticism and commenting purposes, as I just stated. 
my comments and my criticism. So here are the two videos for you to see and hear for yourself. In Illinois is the one suspected of killing Kilgore. Galesburg police say Leffler's rap sheet goes way back and includes charges of theft. Rebecca Turner witnessed the brutal attack that she says went from bad to worse. This is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed and, and multiple times over a simple carjacking. I mean, this guy was in it for a couple of dollars and change. He said, I will, I'm sorry, Marla, but, um, I will be making, we'll get some uh, posts going on Twitter real quick. So here is the article where that clip came from for uh, Rebecca Turner, and I played a bunch of clips so you can hear it because you can tell very specifically it is her voice. She is much more raspier now than she was 10 years ago. Yes, uh, send that over to me, bullhornbetty at gmail.com. Bullhornbetty at gmail.com. If we have uh, 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 what her local police have said, please, please send that to me. Go when this uh, particular um, uh, article and, and event happened. So as you can see right here, this was from January 21st, 2013. We know uh, Rebecca, uh, she smokes a lot. 10 years can do a lot of damage uh, for the voice box as you're doing. But if you listen to it, you can definitely tell that that voice, without a doubt, is absolutely the voice we hear coming from Queen Bee's uh, YouTube page. And this is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. It's absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. And we won't judge you for, uh, for um, what's that, beating up your mom or strangling your husband if you come on up. And this is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. And we won't judge you for, uh, for um, what's that, beating up your mom or strangling your husband if you come on up. This is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. And we won't judge you for uh, for um, what's that, beating up your mom or strangling your husband if you come on up. And this is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. And well, I'm sorry, Marla. Well, um, I will. And this is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. And well, I'm sorry, Marla. Well, um, I will be making. We'll get some uh, posts going on. And this is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. Well, I'm sorry, Marla. Well, um, I will be making. We'll get some uh, posts going on. And this is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. Well, I'm sorry, Marla. Well, um, I will be making. We'll get some uh, posts going on. We won't judge you for uh, for um, what. And I just want to let you know that that clip that I got shows that she is violating uh, the terms of service of YouTube by trying to get together a mass strike, which absolutely is against the um, terms of service on YouTube. And we have clipped that, as you can see, because it's in my video. What's that, beating up your mom or strangling your husband if you come on up? And this is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. And we won't judge you for, uh, for um, what's that, beating up your mom or strangling your husband if you come on up. And this is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. And we won't judge you for uh, for um, what's that, beating up your mom or strangling your husband if you come on up. And this is just absurd to see a kid being brutally stabbed. And so this idea that somebody has a birth date, an address, a phone number, and the same voice, it's pretty hard to dispute at this moment. God bless each and every one of you. And until next time, please be safe and kind to one another. Because if Queen Bee would have taken that advice, we wouldn't even be talking about this right now. But she likes to bully people, and we decide to come out with real facts, real information, and um, public records to defend ourselves as well as countless other uh, creators that did not deserve what they've received from Queen Bee. So there you go, guys. And then not only that, but the other clip that I had, which was a, a, a sooner clip when her voice wasn't raspy, sounds more. And I'm going to incorporate this and do another video of the voices because this one sounds more like the woman in that uh, news clip because she's not as raspy in this one. Listen. Next thing I know, I got a big ass fucking community post on Callie's fucking community tab that I'm the horriblest person ever. And I'm a fucking. Okay, let's listen. Hold on, let me get there. Hold on, let me get to the right thing. There it is. Right there. 
right there. Okay, let me get right here and then we'll go do it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's listen to her voice. This, that, and the other. First of all, you obviously don't know the deal the that she says went from bad to worse. And this is just absurd to see a kid be and selling the shit. And multiple times. But if you need help, I will kindly explain. I mean, this that is the is most in it there for it is. a couple of dollars and change. No, said. Because she's not as raspy. She's not as raspy on this one as she was yesterday. She's not as raspy as she was. Next thing I know, I got a big ass fucking community. Okay, let's go back. I don't think I'm back. I want to get to the spot. There it is. There it is. Let's let's try it again. Oops, I, I removed it from the stream. Allie's fucking community tab. Let. I mean, this guy was. Bam, baby. A couple of dollars and change. Said. So, again, maybe the yesterday one that I pulled, she was a little too raspy. Is that her yelling? Yeah, that's her yelling on her channel about somebody posting about her drug charges, calling her. Uh, uh, you know, uh, sea head. And um, she's saying, wait a minute, I didn't, I don't smoke it. I just sold it, sold it. That's basically what she said. And then now today, now yesterday, she's trying to say that this person is not her. And the person that, that, that sold the drugs is dead. No, I didn't, Nicole. And I'm proving I didn't. And I've already received, I've already sent out public records to put this to bed once and for all. You guys may be, um, may be naive and stupid, but we're not stupid over here. So give me, if you think the woman's dead, give me the obituary because I'll pull out the public records out the wazoo to show that she's either dead or she's lying. So send it over to me. Send it over to me. I'm not doxing people. I'm not doxing people at all. Do you know what doxing means? According to YouTube, doxing means I'm giving out phone numbers, addresses, places of business, um, things of that nature. First names, first and last names are not considered doxing under YouTube standards. And I know that for a fact because I just went through the process yesterday. Period. Period. And as you see on my channel, go back from yesterday. And you know damn well, all you cockroaches were over here trying to mass report me, tell me I'm harassing, saying I'm bullying, saying I'm doxing, saying I'm giving private information. And YouTube, with all the number, looked into it. And guess what? They said I didn't do any of it. So quit lying. Quit lying. You are a liar. And Bullhorn Betty can't stand a liar or a thief. I can't stand a liar or a thief. So don't sit, come over here and say this woman's dead. Show receipts. Tell, tell wannabe drug thug to show her face. Because as soon as she shows her face, it's done. It's all over. And we know that because here, here's the kicker. This is something she doesn't know. She doesn't know that I was actually, somebody had brought up, um, uh, crazy crit critters and crime on the farm or whatever, you know, Daisy, Daisy's channel. And I was in there, you know, when she was going through all the stuff that she was by talking about Rose Bly and Rose Bly being um, alive and things of that nature. Well, somebody sparked in my mind because I forgot I was actually in that chat. She's saying, oh, shit, right now. She's saying, oh, shit, right now. But I was in the chat over on Miss Daisy's that night. And for the first time, she actually went over to Miss Daisy's uh, chat and she didn't show her face. I mean, she showed her face. And I remember Miss Daisy's like, whoa, you know, I can't believe you didn't, sh you're showing your face. You never show your face. She's saying, oh shit right now. She's saying, oh shit right now. And this was because she was coming out because everybody was attacking Miss Daisy for the whole Rose Bly scenario. And another woman saying she was family with friends and, and, and whatever that, that was. And I think it was Sunshine, possibly, um, that brought this to her and was talking about it on her channel. And uh, so Miss Daisy was getting beat up. And if Miss Daisy's in here, she can agree. Miss Daisy was, being, was getting beat up. And so um, 
wannabe drug thug decides to go over to um, Prime's Crazy Critters on the Farm, Daisy's channel, and she turned her camera off, or turned her camera on, and she was on her couch. And guess what? I remember seeing her. She was a heavy set woman with dark hair. And then when I look at this picture, it was the same woman that I saw that night on Crazy Daisy's channel. I'm sure that record is hers. She is a despicable. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But I remember being in there and I remember seeing her face. Now I went back because I knew exactly when it was. I know exactly what um, um, video that was on. However, Miss Daisy either moved that over to uh, members only or has that privated. And I would implore Miss Daisy if she wants to get to the root problem and she still has that video, I would like a picture of that woman to finally prove. But I know for a fact it was a heavier set lady with dark hair laying on the couch like this. And I remember her. I remember. So yes, this is definitely, without a doubt, without a doubt, Queen B. And again, you can't take that away. You made that mistake yourself. And I just so happened to be in that chat. She did take it down. I know she did. But she could still have copies of it. Because even when we take it down, unless we permanently delete it from the back, she might still have it. And this can put it all to bed. But your story, wanna be drug thug, is 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 getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And you just need to go ahead and just say it was you that you've been lying and ask for the mercy of your your subscribers. Because people don't like liars here on YouTube, because if you lie to them about that, what else would you lie to them about? And you may say anything about whatever you want to say, but you know damn well, my record is not that. And you can try to justify it any way you want by, by fraudulent affidavits that make you feel good. You know, if you want, if you want to do that, go ahead. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and pull up those 2011 cases on me. They're not from 2021. They're not from two. They're not a felony from 2019. They're not showing I'm an active uh, criminal or that I go out and, and, and cause crime or sell drugs or do anything like that. I, I've never been I've never been convicted of any felony. There is one felony on my record. And I actually went to court and was found not guilty. So it, it didn't even get dismissed. I actually went to court and was found not guilty of that crime. So that's the worst that they've got for me. Bring it because you've got a lot of skeletons in your closet. You can, I can absolutely can vote. Want to be drug thug can't. Uh, three time felon, three time felon wanting to help children that she injured in her addiction and her selling. And we know that she's smoking something because your voice doesn't get like that from what it was to this without you being on some whatever goes down. And it's not just cigarettes because it took a lot for my voice to sound that raspy, a lot, a lot. But I wanna tell you, if you stop, the, you stop these things now, you can repair your voice. That's a good thing. You can repair your voice. So Dolly's, Dolly's RSO brother that lives in his house. Uh, well, thank you for the $2, but who cares? Who cares? So because somebody does something, your family member, if I had to throw and, and disown every family member that did something horrible, that is his family. You understand that dome, right? If you've got one. Sorry, I shouldn't be disrespectful. I don't know you. Didn't mean to come off like that, but it just frustrates me because I think it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So he's not supposed to have anything to do with his brother. He, he a family member of him just should disown him, right? Is that why, is that why wannabe drug thug has been disowned by her entire family? Oh, I'm sorry. Her entire family just died, right? Yeah, I'm going to be that rude. I'm going to be that rude to her. She was raised by her aunt. 
We found out her dad's dead. We found out her aunt's dead. I understand she's got some emotional uh, stuff and maybe that's why she utilizes so many drugs. Um, I'm unsure, but either way, it's, um, she has no right to treat people like that. You wanna talk about cases, keep it to the cases. You wanna start bringing people in. How many, how many videos have you made about me? That's what I'd like to know. How many videos have you made about me? And I've never made one video about her until yesterday. And they want it because they think that they can do this. Every, all, they want us to do what they say and not what they do. They think that they can do everything that they tell us that we are not allowed to do. I say, screw you. I say, screw you. I say, you're a low life. Quit being such a hypocritical person. This is my job. If you don't like it, don't like it. I don't care. I don't like you. I don't like what you're doing. I don't think that's a job. Sitting on, on YouTube for hours on end complaining about somebody doesn't, doesn't sound like a job to me. It sounds like an angry person. It sounds like somebody that's unhappy in their own life. And I'm, I feel sorry for them. But don't come over here and expect Bullhorn Betty not to defend herself against BS. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Listen, this button is smarter than half of the people on the panel on her show. This button right here is smarter. Smarter. Has more brains than the people she takes up on her panel. This button right here has more brains. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. That's how we feel about them. We don't like their kind, okay? We don't like their kind. Um, go hate someplace else. But that, uh, you know what? I decided to come here and complain a little bit more because they've been complaining. <laughs> they've been triggered. <laughs> <laughs> They've been triggered. Okay, great. Thank you. I, I saw it. So he's been contacted. Exactly. Exactly. That, but that's what they do. They try when they're caught with their pants down. They try to point their finger at all these different directions instead of just being transparent and owning it. They wanna. They wanna say it's because of my hair. It's it's because I make goofy faces. This woman is literally on there showing me with with funny faces. Missing her whole entire front teeth, not washed or cleaned, and she's trying to make like I, I like these people are literally sick in their noggin. Like this woman has no teeth, not clean. She hasn't showered. Her hair looks like garbage, and she's showing funny. You know, do you know that I look better in those funny face photos than she did, even with her teeth on? I look better in those funny photos. All you got to do is show her face. Trust me, I was laughing, but I wasn't laughing at the photos of me. I wasn't. I wasn't. Wasn't at all. I'm not lying. Love your channel. Thank you. Thank you. And you guys know we don't do drama on here very often. We don't do drama on here very often, but I know my audience understands because they, I don't watch this stuff. They do. I don't go, I, 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 like I said, I don't even, I, I pay, I pay absolutely literally no attention to any of them. I pay literally no attention to any of them. But when I start hearing them beating up on everybody that I work with, and everybody that I see and all this nonsense day in and day out, day in and day out, you know what? I put my kick shit and my shit kicking boots on and I go and kick the front door in. That's what I do. And at the end of the day, she is a criminal. She is a felon. She sold drugs. She admitted it. And then she lied to her audience. And they can get, keep saying that this doesn't sound like her. Well, her friends may say that, but they don't realize that everybody else on YouTube can hear it. Even if they don't, even if they're in denial and don't want to admit it, everybody else on YouTube hears it and sees it and knows it's true. And knows it's true. And then she does stupid stuff like try to say this woman's dead when she's not dead. And, and then she goes, it, it, because she forgot she acknowledged it or addressed it on another, another, another one of her lives. And then she's caught even further with her pants down. Let's listen to it again. This is, this is wannabe drug thug right here. This is her. 
She's acknowledging it. Yesterday, she lied about it. Person ever, and I'm a fucking crackhead, and this, that, and the other. First of all, you obviously don't know the the difference between smoking the shit and selling the shit. But if you need help, I will kindly explain it to you, okay? Well, there you go. What do you guys say about that? So early on, when she was a smaller channel, she admitted it. Now that she's grown a lot, she knows that this is very damaging to her new audience that had no idea this was going on. And now she's trying to say that the, that, that woman is dead and she's not because it's her. And they're not going to send me the obituary because they know I will get to the bottom of it. So if anybody's got the, the obituary, send it to me and I will get to the bottom of it. They can't play me for a fool because we actually investigate these things. We know how to investigate these things. We're not sitting around complaining all day. We actually do work around here. Real work. Clearly she thinks making her better than someone who smoked, what does it say? Clearly she thinks selling makes her better than someone. Because she, and, and God knows how many countless lives did she ruin? How many countless lives was she the reason for the ruin? And you're talking about manufacturing. There's only one um, drug out there that I know that anybody can manufacture from their home. And I'll let you guys figure that out. And that is really sick and disgusting stuff. Because, you know, we don't have coca plants out here. So it's not like she's manufacturing that. Weed farm in her area would be too noticeable. I just want to know, did they condemn the house that she was cooking this stuff up in? Because we hear about it all the time. Somebody sitting next to a house and boom, the house explodes. That's the kind of drug she was cooking up. Because you can't, manu there's, no, there's no other thing that you can manufacture here. There's only one. And it takes Sudafed and battery acid and cooking. That's what she was doing. And she's proud of herself, proud of herself that she's not smoking it. She's just saying, I can tell you right now, nobody makes this stuff, that, that particular drug without you, to, you using that particular drug. It just doesn't happen. It, it, I have, tell me one, I have not yet met a drug dealer ever that isn't in their own product, ever. Show me a person, I'm sure there's some, I, you know, there's always the outliers and stuff like that. But the majority of these low level dealers are typically utilizing the product that they're selling because they have an addiction that they need to support. And that's what makes them go into the selling. That's why they're the low end sellers. That's why they're the, the bottom feeder sellers. They're the street sellers. They're the ones that, that get these things out to them. They don't sell in bulk. They sell in small dime bags, uh, tens, twenties. You know, things of that nature, maybe quarters, halves, and ounces. You know, I, I don't know. But I'm telling you that low-level drug dealers are low-level drug dealers because they have drug problems. And this is something I know from personal experience. She needs Dolly soap. <laughs> Because she was trying to justify herself. She was trying to justify herself. And she didn't know how to handle it at that time. And what it was is she was a smaller channel. So she didn't have all these hate channels doing spins for her to help her cover up herself and lie because they need her. Because there's not, there's, there's only so many garbage P POSs on YouTube. And they all have to stick together because they're so limited. They think they're they're tough stuff, but if you look at our side and their side, they are, are are majorly lagging in subscribers. So there's more of us than there will ever 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 be of them, and many of them share the same subscribers. Whereas on our channels, like for for example, Marissa, uh, JLR, Dolly, I, 
we all have a we have a lot of the same subscribers, but we have a lot of people that 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 don't subscribe to to the the other ones. Uh, and, and it's on all of us. Like there's people on Marissa's channel that can't stand me. There's people on my channel that can't stand her. And likewise with Dolly, JLR, all the other people that we work with, Justice for All and stuff like that. There's people on his channel that may not like me or may not like Marissa or may not like Dolly or may not like this person or may not like that person. And, and that's okay. But we share separate and different subscribers than each of us. They share the same ones. It's the same ones going through all of their channels all the time. It's not like... They, it appears that there's more, but they're not. They're the same exact subscribers from one channel to another. So when you have 11,000 on this channel and 11,000 on that channel, 90% of those, those subscribers are the same people from channel to channel. Oh, I forgot to plug in my, uh, hold on guys, I gotta. <clears throat> and not only that, they need five or six people to run a show over there. I don't I don't never have. I've been running my show all by myself for a long time and bring people up as needed. I bring people up as needed. Thank you, Danny, for becoming the newest coffee club member. Well, I can tell you guys, we don't usually do the drama over here. We really don't. We stay out of it. Uh, but you know, for good cause. And we did say that we are going to be um, doing some activity to stop this out this year. And uh, we have enough uh, in our arsenal to now move forward with that. I'm not going to go into or dive into what we we're planning on doing. Uh, but I can tell you, uh, there's enough, there's enough meat to this bone, uh, that this, this is going to be a very upsetting year for some people. Um, and, and I'll tell them because I, I have asked them, you know, not to contact me, continue to do so. I've asked them not to write about me, not to, uh, slander me, not to defame me, not to steal my, uh, content and they continue and continue to do so. And when you make 200 videos a about someone, a private citizen, that goes from it being a First Amendment issue to being harassment um, and other things. So uh, in, 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 in uh, over and above that, I mean, then you got other civil claims, defamation, slander, libel. Um, you just got a lot of stuff that goes on there that, you know, that is, you, we have a First Amendment right here, but there's limits to it. And that's the problem um, with some of the people on YouTube. They don't realize the limit because they're ignorant with the law. And even when they read the law, they don't understand it. They think they understand it, but they don't understand it because there's a lot that goes into it. That's why people need attorneys when they're getting sued. They, they need attorneys because they don't know how to navigate the law. They don't know how uh, the law works. They go and read a statute and think that that it's cut and dry with that statute, not realizing there's a mess of case law behind that statute that really defines that statute and, and what that statute can and cannot do. So they may go read the statute and say it one way, but then they, when they when you start looking at the case law that supports that statute, you realize what you're reading, what you think you're reading and what you're really reading are two totally different things. So that's the reason why lawyers and legal professionals get paid an arm and a leg when there's court hearings, because it's a specialized, uh, um, it is a very specialized and you have to know the law. You have to know how to prepare a complaint. You have to know how to prepare a motion to dismiss. You have to know how to prepare an answer and request for discovery. You have to know these things. Otherwise, you're going to have to hire an attorney to do them. And an attorney is very, very expensive, anywhere from $350 an hour on up to what James Griffin and, and Dick Harpoolian was making, which was $650 an hour. $650 an hour. So from $350 an hour to $650 an hour. I just want that to let that sink in. It is a specialized, um, a, a specialized uh, field. You, you have to be licensed. You have to be educated. You have to know how to do proper legal research. You have to know how to prepare a case, how to index a case. You have to know how to uh, read case law, how to search for case law. There's a lot that goes into it that people don't understand and will never understand unless you're in the field. Love your channel. You're amazing. Keep up the amazing work that you do. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I do. I, I will. I will. And you know, this too shall pass. But I can tell you, I will not. They're, they're not blemishing me or my record. Thank you, Miss Jones. God bless you. God bless you for being the newest member. 
Um, but they're, they're not shaking me. I'm shaking them. And you're seeing them freaking out over it because she's been caught, she's been busted, and she's been caught with her pants down. And she continues to double down and lie to her audience. And I'm just demanding her to be honest. Enough's enough. You can, you know damn well that is you. You know it's you. And um, if we got to prove it further, fine. I'll go, I'll go through the public records. I will go through the public records. But you're not going to sit here and bash me over the head constantly, all the time, when you are this despicable, disgusting individual. You're not going to do it. And I'm not going to allow you to do it. And if you want to continue to do it, then I will expose the shit out of you and show everybody who you truly are. And right now, I just proved that you are the biggest liar on YouTube. And you're trying to hide your record from the public. Uh, let me turn the call in on. I don't have it on. Give me just a second. Now, I just want to ask, I'm assuming that you're probably the lips that they think I'm working with. Is that is that correct? Like you're the one, are you upset with these people as well? I mean, because somebody accused me of working with Jim and lips. So I'm assuming that you are the lips that they are referring to. I've seen a couple lips on this, uh, on the streets of YouTube, some with different variations of lips, but I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> that it's, that it's you. So, um, let me go ahead and pull this up. All right, Lips, if you want to call in, I just opened the... Oh, no, don't, 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 don't call in. I don't want to dox you. I'm not ready for you yet. Hold on a second. I got to stop this screen. I got to do it a different way. Okay. All right, I'm about to bring it up. Oh, shit. There we go. All right, there we go. Banner, phone number. There you go. That's that's the call in number. Lips, if you want to go ahead and call in, you can. Guys, leave the phones open if you would be so kind. So lips can call in. And again, like I said, I truly believe that this is the same one that they um, are, are, are. You know, again, don't they have no facts? They just if they think it, it has to be true. And this is another one where they thought it, and so it must be true. And again, idiots obviously can't put can't realize. Uh, it'll be, no, mm -mm, no, no, it's not going to be Jim. Mm -mm, I won't answer. He knows. He knows I, 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 I will not talk to him. I will not work with him. He knows. There is, no. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. If you'd like to call in, you're more than welcome to, but I, mm -mm. and I don't, and I didn't want to have to say that publicly, but Jim knows that I don't want to talk to him. He absolutely knows I don't want to talk to him. So if you want to call in here, uh, you're more than welcome to call in here, uh, but I'm I'm uh, unfortunately I I refuse to work with him uh, because of the past and um, mm -mm, no I don't want to hear his voice I don't want to talk to him uh, like I said you come after me you're you're done you're done we don't we don't um, not if it was a, a missing child I might reconsider but if it's this petty stuff mm -mm, I don't need to talk to him I can handle myself I don't care what kind of information if he wants to hand it over he can bullhornbetty at gmail.com, but uh, no. Mm -mm. And I'm sorry, Jim, I didn't want to do this publicly because I don't, I don't, you know, usually come out publicly and say stuff like that, but you know darn well, I, I, I don't want to talk to you. Um, and I'm sorry, Lips, no disrespect to you. Um, JT, uh, did that. Okay, uh, please don't be Jim, because if you're Jim, I will hang up on you. This is Betty. Yeah, Betty, I sent you, Are you the lips? obit. Are you lips? Huh? Is this lips? No, I'm not lips. Oh, no. Who is this? This is Marla from right. Jimmy's Dolly's. Okay, Marla. I sent you that. I sent you that obituary uh -huh. of the lady, Rebecca Lynn. Uh, what was it the last name? So it was Rebecca Lynn. Well, the person um, in the court record is Rebecca Michelle. Okay, it, that's that's not the lady that you're 
And there's, a, there's an obituary for Rebecca Lynn. That is not the same yes. person as these court records. This court record is for a Rebecca Michelle. That's who it's for, not a Rebecca Lynn. Okay, well, the Rebecca Lynn is the girl that uh, uh, Queen B is trying to tell you is dead. Right. And yeah. she is. But th that's not the court I, records that I was reading off. I was reading the court records off for a Rebecca Michelle. Not a Rebecca Lynn. Okay. But this Rebecca Lynn is the one that did the stuff you're saying. No, it's not. Queen B did. No, it's yes, not. It Marla, the court records. Hey, hold look, at, look at the obituary. The obituary says Rebecca Lynn. The court records. So the, the courts from Kern County, Illinois, say Rebecca Michelle. So the court record that I'm reading is for Rebecca Michelle, not for Rebecca. Okay. Lynn. So no, okay. he's using somebody else's so, obituary to say that they're dead, but the court records have her middle name on them. So her name, right? But you were Rebecca saying Michelle. that she was telling she was you were to, she you were saying that she was trying to make up a dead person's name, yeah, and that's her name. And this girl literally is dead, and she did die. Right, but Rebecca Lynn is dead. The court records yes. I was reading off was not for Rebecca Lynn. It was for Rebecca. Michelle. Well, you. You just kept saying you wanted the obituary to okay, prove it. I, so I, 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 I say, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I sent it to you. <laughs> sorry. You know, I get a little tense because I never know who these people are, who's calling me. So I never know if I got to have the dukes up or not. But I, I right, I get that. Yeah, I appreciate but, it, Marla. But that that's even better. That even seals the fate for it even more because these records in the court uh, say Rebecca Michelle, not Rebecca Lynn. Okay. But the girl that you called the other night was nonsense. I didn't call her the other night. And um, we, well, made, we made multiple, I've made multiple calls and, and that was, um, that was one of them. Okay. Well, all I know is this Rebecca Lynn is the one that, um, she overdosed. She okay. was in the drug. Now we just, she we doesn't just need to her. have. You know, I said too much already. I shouldn't even have said that. Right. I mean, the the lady is deceased. Right. She and doesn't need to be pulled up. But again, and let me let me clarify. She's got this. kids. Let me clarify this. The person I pulled up was not the deceased person. The deceased person is named Rebecca Lynn. The court records I pulled up were for Rebecca Michelle. So clearly, those are two different people. Exactly. Yeah. But so I'm going to refer to the court record. <laughs> Which is not the deceased okay. persons. The court right. 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 But, Michelle, not a Rebecca Lynn. The part that I'm getting to is Dolly and you guys both said that she stole a dead lady's name or whatever. I don't even know how it went. No, she's basically that's saying, not correct. Yeah, no, what she's basically saying is that um that this is that I'm referring to a, a dead person. They found an obituary with a similar name. And they're trying to sit, pass that off as this woman has been dead. However, the court records, the, the, the Rebecca Michelle, or excuse me, the Rebecca Lynn has a different uh, date of birth and a, uh, than these court records and a different middle name than these court records. These court records are for, unfortunately, I know people don't want to believe it. And this lady's going to keep lying to you. But Rebecca Lynn is not the, re the record I was reading off. I was reading off the record for a, a Rebecca Michelle. No, I didn't say you were reading off okay. Rebecca Lynn. Yeah. I'm just saying that this was the girl that was doing everything that you say that Queen B was doing. I, I don't even know Queen B. She does not know me. Yeah. Yeah. But she, you know, I've listened to her channel a couple of times and she's straightforward about what she's done, what her past is. She, she did do what she did. But I don't think she's the one that was selling anything to children. Oh no, she was. The court record says says her name, not not the deceased person's name. But does it say she was um, selling them to children? Um, <laughs> I mean, I think she'd be in a little bit more trouble if she was no, selling them she, to children. She did, get, she, did get, she did get charged for the the sale. She is a felon because of the sale. So um, they there there are uh, definitely, and she admitted. It. She she has admitted it. Did you see here her um, here? Let me just play this for you. She has admitted to being that person. Okay, let me not let me play it. 
difference between selling and smoking. Shit, 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 shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna have to go blur. I, I hit something and it let me let you go, Marla. I apologize. I just, I think I might have doxed your number by accident. I apologize. So, You're fine. I don't really care. Oh, I mean, no, I didn't mean, I, I was went to go play. I didn't realize when I went to go play the video, it knocked, it knocked the, 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 um, the phones out. And then I, I went to put the phones back up and I didn't realize it was going to throw it up on the screen and it did. So I, I'm just, uh, I, I really do apologize about that. Well, check out, I mean, you can check out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do what you want. You can check out this Rebecca Lynn and her record. Just don't blast it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the lady's deceased. She's got yeah, little that, that kids. The record that I'm showing is not um, the deceased woman's court record. Right. But I'm saying if you want to look up hers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll be happy. Then don't put it out there. Okay. Because, you know, she's deceased. She's got young kids. Yeah. You don't want her kids getting on there and seeing her. And everybody talking my, my, about my, her. My, my 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 bone is not with a deceased woman. My bone is with the right person. And 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 this just to be honest with you, this this call really did just clarify uh, that the uh, information um, on that court record truly was um, drug thug. So okay, but that that was quite a few years ago, and I'm not I'm not sticking up for her, and I'm not. No, no, she's got. You know, she just got. She just got pulled over and and. Um, uh, 2021 in February for driving on a suspended license. And then in November of 2021, she, she, she clearly didn't get her license taken care of. And she got pulled over again in November of 2021. And both times she was, um, she had to go to court for that. She might've even been arrested. Well, I understand that, but that's traffic ticket. Right. And then in, 2000, I mean, in 2009, she got another felony, 2019, rather 2019, she got another felony conviction. Well, I really don't know. I mean, like I said, I've listened to her a couple of times and she has, you know, her, everybody that subs to her knows. No, everything about don't because she's lying to them. And that's the problem here is that she has lied to them so much that she's now trying to pass off a dead person as herself. And it had they, that dead person has a different birth date and a different middle name as she does. And so I'm looking at the court records with her first, middle, and last name and her date of birth. Not the but who said she was trying to pass herself off as a dead person? No, what Where I was did trying that to say is, is her, she's trying to proclaim that the record I pulled up was the dead person's record. And you have just confirmed that it's not because the records I was reading were for a Rebecca Michelle, not a Rebecca Lynn. Right. And that came from. Jim, didn't Jim tell Dolly that? Uh, and then that's how Dolly what, got it. I don't know what Jim has told Dolly. Uh, quite frankly, I haven't even talked to Dolly outside of him coming up on the panel yesterday. Um, but what I find ironic is that you've got all these creators digging in now and we're all coming up with the same result. And that in and of itself should show people that, you know, you got one person saying it's not her and you've got 20 other people researching and doing their due diligence saying, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, you know, like I said, all, all I'm saying is when I've listened to her, she's straightforward about what she's done. Her subs know. They talk about it. I'm not sticking up for her and not for you. I mean, this is just craziness. Right. That doesn't even need to be going back and forth. I mean. It doesn't. But you know what I'd like? I'd like people when people do this stuff to me. I'd like people like you to call and tell them the same stuff you guys come over here and tell me all the time because I don't ever go after creators. I don't ever talk about creators. I try to stick to the facts of cases on my channel and I'm I'm attacked daily, nonstop daily I am attacked and not one person. But as soon as I bring up factual information and put it out there, they want to dox me. They want to bring my channel down. If we did that every time they made a video on Bullhorn Betty, there would be a lot of channels that are would no longer be up right now. If we handle if we handled our business like that, we are a little more mature and a little more adult like over here. We don't play those little those little kid games of trying to 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 cancel uh, somebody out uh, for doing the exact same thing that they are doing to that person. Like they do this to me every single day. 
every single day that I have been on YouTube, they have done this to me. And the minute I make three videos to defend myself and to bring awareness to this woman, they want to cancel me. They want to dox me. They want to um, email me. They want to try to throw my num number out there. They want to try to do all this stuff for three emails. Meanwhile, they have eight videos about me. And I've got three. All under 12 minutes total for all three of those videos. And they can go on for hours and hours and hours about me and other creators. And nobody ever goes in there and tells them, quit doxing people. This doesn't matter. Let's get back to the cases. But whenever I do it, people want to fly over here on this channel and tell me that. So quit being hypocrite. And I'm not saying you are, Marla. I'm not saying, I just want to make sure that's clear. I'm not being a hypocrite. Yeah, so because not... like I said, I, I don't even know Queen Bee. Yeah. I don't I, You know, I went over there to watch her a couple of times to see what this all, this shit was all about. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm not sticking up for her. I'm not sticking up for you. I'm just saying you wanted the obituary mm -hmm. of the dead person. I sent it to you. It's in I your messenger. It. Thank you. And I'm not, you know, if if I was on another channel and they were dissing you and you didn't do what they would, what they said you were doing, I would go to their channel and call them yeah. and say the same thing. I don't really watch many channels. I watch Dolly. Right. And um, that's about it. The people that are looking for Dylan Rounds. That's about the only two people I watch. Yeah, that's a shame. That's, a so, shame. that's just a travesty that poor boy never came home. So. No, but they got, a, they got a different suspect. I thought they, and they I arrested can't James Brenner. Huh? I thought they arrested James Brenner for the murder. They did. They did, but there's a, I can't think of his name. It's like Spitzler or something is the name that that now. Remember the guy that they had that, um, um, remember that guy that um, had his guns? Remember that? Like there was, the, the law enforcement went to a, a guy and they said, yeah, James had given this CR, I think was the initials of this guy or RC or something like that in the affidavit. And he gave those guns because it, it the guns weren't, uh, acquired or, or, or uh, received by the police from James Brenner. They actually went to his friend's trailer and um, took those guns. So I have a funny feeling that guy might be involved because who would take somebody else's guns after a murder or after? Somebody? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a YouTuber. I can't think of um, uh, what's his name. It's it's something Earth. I don't know. Um, I'd have to message it to you, but it's on his very last video that he did. There is another guy that they're looking at with Jim, with Jim, you know, with the guy that's already in jail, but they're looking at a different guy too that okay. said he's a, also a suspect. So I don't, I can't remember the guy's name, but it's on his, uh, it's on the very last video that he did. Gotcha. It says his name. Okay. So I can send you that in Messenger. Yeah, I'd like, well, uh, if you can send that, uh, well, I guess Messenger would work if, as long as you're my friend because I don't go over to the spam folder. So the best way to send me um, messages uh, if you're not um, a friend of Bullhorn Betty on Facebook is through uh, Gmail. Okay. But I appreciate it. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Yep. Bye. God bless. Bye bye. <clears throat> Now, if Lips would like to call in, uh, please call in. Otherwise, um, I'm going to disable the, the call uh, feature. You are all deleted happy. Uh, who's in shock? Let me read. Let me start reading some of this stuff. She's not going to be rude and just cut the caller off. No, I'm not. I, I don't do that. Uh, she's not avoiding. She's talking to the caller. Yeah, guys, uh, when the phones are ringing and beeping and I'm on the phone with somebody, yeah, I'm not going to answer the beep um, to, to take the call. The, the phone lines are right now open. If Lips would like to call in, I'd like you guys to keep the phone lines open. So if Lips would like to call in, she's more than welcome uh, to call in. Um, but unfortunately, I just, I just, um, 
Let me see who this is. This is Betty. Betty. Betty the heckler. Good Lord. I'm the heckler. And this already says suspected spam caller. So obviously you're no, you're no, uh, and see, this is, and I, and this is just proving the point that I'm making is that we don't do this over on their channel, but they come over here on this channel and do it. So who really do, do we here on YouTube believe are the bullies of YouTube? That's what I would like to know. Who are the bullies of YouTube? Is it me that covers true crime cases and, and, and goes around this country and tries to advocate for kids? Or is it the people that don't like what I'm doing that think that they have a right to tell me what I can and cannot do and come over here and try to, to cause problems on this channel? Who is the real bullies here? I'd like to know that. Who are the real bullies here? Because they're sitting over here pointing the finger that I'm this bully when I don't even attack them. I don't even say nothing about them until I've had enough. And then I'll roll out with some videos. And then they're all up in arms uh, about it. So... I, I don't answer unknown callers. Try again. Um, if you'd like to call in, call in. Um, I, I don't. I don't care how you call in, but I'm not answering unknown callers in this state because we've got people that ha that are mentally ill. And you know what? Most of those mentally ill people are over on their channels. They're not over here. They're over there because they're mentally ill and they like the chaos and drama because they're mentally ill. There's a lot of mental illness in this country. So again, who are the real bullies here? Do you think it's us? And if you feel that they are bullying people on YouTube, I'm going to ask you, 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 you uh, subscribe with your heart. If you feel that they're worth your subscription, subscribe to them. Otherwise, remove that subscription. Because this is, I'm going to keep this up because I'm just going to show you what they do. This is what they do. Let's, we're going to keep this because I want to prove a point here. Yeah, I'm proving this point. Because this is, yet again, another spam caller. It even says it on there, spam caller. I haven't, uh, I have sent you information. Okay. Let me look. So we're going to keep it up because I'm just, I'm, I'm going to prove a point. I'm going to prove my point. Lips, don't worry. You can get a hold of me. I'll, I'll talk to you. If you'd like to get a hold of me, get a hold of me by email. And if you want to give me your Google number or your phone number, whatever you choose to prefer, I'll, I'll be happy to call you and talk to you um, and maybe bring you up. If you want to come up on panel, maybe I can drop you a link because if they start coming up here, I just ban them and they'll never be able to come on my live ever again. So it's a lot easier than these phones. But thanks, Betty. I'll email it now. I appreciate it. Lips has been calling. Um, hold on here. It, Lips, if you've been, if, is that, which, are you calling from? Let me see if I can, I'll just, can you tell me, do me a favor, Lips, if, if you, I'll call you back. If you can tell me the last four of your digits or the first three, like your area code or the last four, if you want to give me those, I'll, I'll look it up and try to call you back and make sure I've got the right person. Oh, okay. So you, uh, that was you. You're the, you're my spam caller. <laughs> Go figure, right? All right. I'm calling you now. We <laughs> turn this down. <laughs> you are my spam. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It, it literally said that's weird. And I'm like, oh, this has got to be a troll. Yeah, that's my real number too. It's weird. It's coming up as spam. <laughs> <laughs> that that's is too cool. funny. Yeah, I was just gonna let <laughs> let you know that the other caller kind of verifies everything for you. I have all the same information that you found. And we obviously don't work together. We, me and you both know that. And all that, that information matches perfectly. The yeah. picture, all of it. And that last yeah. caller, it was kind of cool because that last caller, um, oh, I, I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing here. My my stuff is just falling all over the place. But even the, <laughs> the, the last caller, you know, trying to it, it get, because I was looking for the obituary, but she confirmed uh -huh. that the, the, the middle name was Lynn and not Michelle. Yep. So... You can pass that off all you want, but I'm sorry. The court record I was reading of the three felonies belonged to a Michelle. Rebecca Michelle, not a Rebecca Lynn. Mm -hmm. Right. She is definitely Rebecca Michelle. And, um, if it wasn't her, why would she strike down my video when Jim came up and said all that stuff? Oh, her? no. She was so triggered yesterday. If that wasn't her, she wouldn't have gotten that triggered. 
I, I'm sorry. You know, I, it's the psychology. You know, I I've been doing this a while, and it's it. You know, it, when I do some of these things, it is you know psychology. There's some things I do just to see how they react. Yeah, and I do too. When you get you you expect two different reactions, maybe three different reactions from somebody, depending on um, you know what the situation is. So when I started this, it was more of a I had enough information, but I wanted to also see how she reacted to that information. Right. And because right. she got so defensive and so angry and went on a tirade, and then followed up with that, and actually. Uh, started to attack other creators that sealed the deal. So now not only do I have her by her name, her address, her voice, her date of birth. Now I have <laughs> her with all these extra actions after being exposed. That's very indicative of, of it being confirmed. And to be, it's illegal to pretend to be somebody that's dead or somebody that you're not. So yeah, she's, tell, she's, telling somebody, yeah, you know that, that's not going to get you in too much trouble, to be honest with you. No, no. It just shows that she's willing to go to these dumb lengths to, you know, try to prove that she's somebody that she's not. Right. Um, and I, and she definitely struck my video and got away with it where I couldn't even counter strike it or anything. And uh, there's a privacy thing, though, so it didn't right. hurt me. But it just still goes. So she had to prove that that was her to be able to do that. Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, I got some I got some other right. stuff coming in right now. Hold on a second. Let me read this. And then she also allowed Michaelina up there to trash my kids for hours. And that would have never been allowed because she's her group doesn't like that person. So she allowed a hater of hers or people that her subs hate to come up there just to bash me, just so she could try to get me to stop. It from doing that show yeah like that didn't make any sense either don't, well the problem is they can come over here and bash me all they want because i really don't care they keep thinking i'm all about these clicks the views and everything else i i, I don't care i don't care if i have a uh, five percent uh happy likes i i could care less i'm not into all of that um no i think that's it when you don't pay attention to all of that that nonsense it it, it makes no you 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 are able to live your life if i actually had to sit around and worry about my likes, shares, subscribes, memberships, all this other stuff. I'd go crazy. I don't care. <laughs> Lots of people are in. I'm glad people watch. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, I'm glad people watch. Mm -hmm. I'm glad people, you know, come over here and get their information from this channel. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of that. Uh, but a lot of people talk what you got to say. So. Yeah. So, uh, but I don't really care about what people say about me. If I, I mean, I, 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 I'm from, I'm from a political background. So. Do you understand that these people are chumps compared to the, the sharks that I had to deal with in the political world? Like they, right. they, they these 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 girls think they're something, and and they're really just not. I had better I, people attack me worse in in politics than anything else. These girls are chumps. They're chumps. They're, they're, they actually, they're, they, you know what? They do stuff that makes them feel good. So the only message I got is maybe they need some therapy and maybe they need a safe space and maybe they need a coloring book. I don't know, but they need something. And, and, and followed by, hey, maybe you need to get in touch with God. Because I think if some of these girls, uh, some of these women that are on here that are really angry, I think if they had God in their life, they would they would have a better life. Truly they would. a better life. Or, or some dick or something. I mean, they love it. <laughs> I think everybody needs a little bit of that. No, I'm just joking. I'm just yeah. <laughs> clip that. Yeah, clip that that. that. <laughs> so let me open some of this stuff. Um, I, I didn't realize it here. Uh, I need to try. Yeah, the worst cold ever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. What do you have? I can't read it. I can't read it online. I, I can't read it online because it has uh, some people I need to, it has some leads of people uh, I need to okay. talk to. This solidifies that Queen B is Rebecca Turner and the person she is talking about who died is in a totally different area. Uh, next email mm -hmm. will have pictures uh, of her from 2018. So it seems like. Um, yeah, and she's from like Galesburg or something. Like so. Yeah, let me keep reading these. Um, that she wants to take down. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I've got some I got some leads coming in. 
no, 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 don't risk it, girl. I know you're only got a few weeks left. Okay. So this is not the same person. So um, the, the dead person is not the record that I, and I'm, I'm finally getting some information in here confirming that. Here's the stuff from 2018. Again, that is definitely her right there in the middle in the pink sweater right there. Yeah. So yeah, this, this idea oh, that yeah. there, there she is. That's, that's her guys. Right? I mean, it is her. That's There's her. no doubt about it in my mind. Voice matches, middle and na middle name matches. The other Rebecca Turner that 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 is deceased doesn't have the same middle name. So thank God they didn't, because um, that would have been a hot mess. So it was sure what else? Okay, and it says scroll down to the news clip of Rebecca. Voice matches. It's okay. Oh yeah, this is the one I played. Uh, for the person that just sent that to me, this is the one I played um, here. So. And, and you know that and, and actually that one that where she's acknowledging that she was the dealer the first clip that I played her voice sounds more like that clip from 2013 than the, the clips that I pulled off from yesterday so she must be having must have had some kind of something going on with her uh, voice yesterday or maybe she's just she's getting over being sick because I've heard her voice was much more clear on that that what clip. What it is, is when we got these deeper voices and stuff, even just yelling, mm -hmm. we'll do that. Mm -hmm. And our voices will go out right away. So. Yeah, I know mine does because I, I, I'm on the bullhorn. You know, when I'm on the bullhorn, I sound oh, yeah. raspy and hoarse uh, for the next two or three days. Oh, yeah. So. Yep. No, that's definitely her. You can tell by the tones and stuff on what she says and all of that. Gotcha. Yeah, you did a good job. Yeah, yeah, we're going to continue because I'm not going to have her sitting here bashing all these great creators that are really activ activists for the children and really trying very hard, not just, just children, but all victims of crime. And you've got this small collection of haters out there that think that they're allowed to do and say whatever they want, get paid, spend their money how they want to, and somehow we are beholden to them. I don't know them. I don't care about them. I am not beholden to anybody but me and my God. That is the only person yeah. I am beholden to. I will do whatever I want to as I damn well please, just like I allow them to do. But when you start when you start pissing on my side of the road, I'm going to clean it up. <laughs> I'm going to clean it up. I hear that. I hear that, yeah. All right, I'm going to let you go, buddy. You keep doing that. I'm going to keep listening. All right, God bless. Thank you for calling in. Okay. All right. So I'm glad we corrected that. I'm glad we got lips on here, but just to confirm, that's the first time I've ever spoken to lips. I don't know lips. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, I think maybe lips didn't even like me at some time. Maybe she's coming around a little. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who she is. She acknowledged it. So all those people that, that, that just because you think it doesn't mean it's true. And this again goes to show you exactly that. I, everybody's sitting here thinking I'm working with these people. I'm not working with these people. But what I find very interesting, uh, most interesting, is that we have all these great people that investigate in sleuth and has uncovered a lot of stuff across the cases, across multiple cases, has been able to bring out a lot of information that you wouldn't had had we not been here. And yet we have all the, all these people that aren't working together are coming to the same result. That in and of itself should tell this this community that we have it right. This is not coming. This is, this is coming from people that don't work together, don't like each other and everything else. And we are all coming to the same result. The same result. You can't, you can't come to the same result with all these creators that are doing their own independent research unless it's leading you there. Unless it's leading you there. How many more people need to come out and do their, their um, investigation and, and bring it back, right back to her front door. Right back to her front door. But let me go in here. Let's go ahead and pull these this stuff up. Let's get in here to these cases. And uh, see what we got here. I don't think this is the right one. I think this is Kern County something else. That's not the one I was in yesterday. Hold on a second. Let me find the right one. Make sure this is Illinois. Yeah, this is California. Hold on a second. I was going to say, I went in there and I'm like, wait a minute, this does not look like what it, what it was yesterday. Uh, Kern County, Illinois. Search. 
Okay, court record search. Oh, that's California. I need Illinois. Illinois, Illinois. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah, this is the one I was working on yesterday. There we go. Uh, what was the last name? Oh, that's right. And then I'll pull it up. Oh. Wait. Okay. I don't remember doing this yesterday, but let's make sure we got the right one here. No, this is not this is not the right one. This must still be California. Hold on, guys. I gotta find it. Clerk. Okay, here it is. Is this Illinois? This is not. Fair enough. That's not it either. I have to go on to the other side. Give me just a second. I've got all our stuff pulled up. Here we go. Here we go. No, oh, it's not Kern. Knox. 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 I had it wrong. Let me go ahead and put her back in here. I'm gonna pull this up. Okay. So now we have learned. Okay, let me share my screen. So now we have learned that the obituary uh, is a fit. We did uh, get it. We did review it. The, the obituary um, is the obituary is for a Rebecca Lynn with a different birth date. So now I have pulled back up um, the court record and I want to show you guys once and for all that this is not the deceased person. The deceased person is Rebecca Lynn and the court records I showed you did not go to a Rebecca Lynn. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. We're gonna go ahead and move over here. And there you go. This is for Rebecca M, Rebecca M, not Rebecca L. This is for her. And let me go in here, because I did see the one. Give me just a second while I'm looking for her. And again, they're all the same addresses as, not, not the, the, the obituary. This is um, not the obituary's address. Um, so here is the public records. This is the court document. Let's go in here. And as you see, last uploaded, one, January 19th, 2023. So if you're uploading stuff into this, this particular file, you're not going to be uploading anything that uh, for a dead person that's been dead for a year. This case would have been closed. This case is still being updated. This is a felony case. So in order for me to find out what is going on in this particular case, I've got to do a public record. And then we saw something, I think it was this one over here 2019 again updates last update 02 22 2023 at 706 a.m again they would not be uploading stuff into records into records for a deceased person and they're still uploading and updating these records. And uh, first delinquent notice right here just happened March 2nd, 2022, and it hasn't been assigned yet. So again, these are updates in a case, not for a Rebecca Lynn, but for a Rebecca M right there. And this is on the Knox County, Illinois Clerk of Courts website um, this is for case 2019 CF 37. Uh, if you don't want to believe me, that is okay. Go over and do your own research. But again, I don't like being called a liar. And at the end of the day, people don't put start don't file stuff in cases 
on de dead people a year after they, they're dead. It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. These courts, these courts are still filing stuff in them, whether it be updates for parole or probation or other uh, things that aren't, that I can't see on this end. But at the end of the day, this is the right person that we are looking for. This is not Rebecca Lynn. I am showing you the record for Rebecca M. What's going on, Jennifer? I, see, I just see all you say I give up. Hold on, let me go back and see what you're, what you're going through. Uh, they are there over reporting you, reporting you over the picture you showed. There's a lot of people in here reporting back to her. I don't care. I don't care. They don't own the copyright to that photo. There's nothing they can do. They can be but hurt all they want that she's being exposed and they can no longer lie about her past. I just want her to be acknowledge it. Quit talking about me or we'll keep going. This is very embarrassing. This is very embarrassing for her because she can't seem to keep her ass out of jail. Yet she wants to talk about everybody else and talk about crimes. Well, first of all, let's stop. Why don't you stop committing crimes before you start worrying about covering everybody else's crimes? Go ahead and report me. You guys did such a great job yesterday. You did such a great job yesterday. I'm allowed to report the news. I'm allowed to report facts on, on YouTube. I'm absolutely allowed to do due diligence and use what I find. Absolutely. They don't mind doing it. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. The hypocrisy stops here. Keep going. And you're going to find out yet again, you wasted your time yet again. I made sure through YouTube, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and read this. I made sure I even got a letter from YouTube. I even got a letter from YouTube. So I made sure that I, I dotted my uh, I's and crossed my T's. Just a second. So here, this is what it says. Um, how, uh, how your, it says violation. I had them send me this in writing. So any content that shares, threatened to shares, encourages others to share non-public, personally identifiable information is not allowed on YouTube. This includes an individual's home address, email address, sign in credentials, phone number, passport number, medical records, and banking information. That is what they said you cannot share on YouTube. Sharing somebody's name and public record, they specifically say, I can use public records on my show. So again, this is, the, this is them lying to their audience, thinking that there's going to be something that they can do about me taking my job seriously and reporting information. Because uh, right now, let's talk about it. Have I, um, have I doxed her home address? I have not. Have I doxed her email address? I have not. Have I shared with you any of her sign-in credentials or sign-ins and passwords? I have not. I've never provided you guys her phone number. I've never provided you guys her passport number. I've never provided you guys her medical records. And I've never provided you her bank information. So again, good try. Um, I don't go on here. I'm not bullying you. I, I am just stating facts. That is all Bullhorn Betty is doing. I'm sorry the facts don't vote in your favor. That's not my problem. It's just not my problem. And she's going to be really upset because she thought she could pull that whole Rebecca Turner that was from a different community with a different date of birth, that that Rebecca Turner, she would be able to pass off as her to get out from under these charges. And that obituary clearly says Rebecca Lynn. Well, that's great. Now we know Rebecca Lynn is no longer here on this earth. But I was showing the records for Rebecca Michelle. And the records for Rebecca Michelle, Rebecca M., um, those records, um, are hers. Check mod chat love. 
Check mod chat love. <laughs> we love each other. No, I'm just joking. So let me go over here and thank all the people that have been on here and that have, um, you know, provided some support uh, for this channel during this live stream. And we want to thank um, uh, Michelle Tucker, $20. OP, love it. Uh, Lu uh, uh, Louise, good morning, Betty. We got Michelle Tucker again with the, the laughing emoji, the laughing lemon head. Uh, Michelle Tucker gifted five Bullhorn Betty memberships in this chat. Uh, Jen in between said, BH, B, BHB dropping bombs on the roaches. Love it. Y'all poked the Betty bear too many times. Yes, they did. We got Julia with a thank you and a beautiful pink haired girl that says thanks. Um, by uh, Emma C, uh, two month member. God bless you. Keep smiling and let the jellyfish roll out. Absolutely. Keep doing you, Andra, from Danny and uh, Jennifer L. Oh, it just popped up on me. Hold on. Sorry. Jennifer L. says, uh, oh, no. I. Wow. It popped up on me far. Where is it? Celebrate Super Chat. Where am I? Sorry, it popped up on me and I don't know. Oh, wow. It popped way up on me. Uh, we got Emma C with two months that says, keep smiling. Let the jelly, jellyfish roll. Danny, thanks. Uh, think, uh, keep doing you. Jennifer L, here we go. Man, every time I hear her voice, I can't stop laughing. Say no to drugs, kiddo. Oh, wait, she gives them to the children. Disgusting. Uh, Nurse Sandy, love you. Nine month member. Oh my God, I needed this laugh. Absolutely. Roxy, $5. Where do these people come from? The town of trouble. Yes, that is right. Now I finally got the, the question. I read it the first time and I went blank, but I read it this time out loud and I finally got it. God bless you, Roxy. Jennifer L. Okay, okay. You got me. I'm Rebecca in disguise. Hating on me. I can't defend myself. I'll haunt you. I don't have to, I don't have an orbit because I can't afford it. Ha <laughs> ha. B.S. B.S. That was bullshit. <laughs> uh, just a country girl. Wanted to say hello and tell you you're amazing. Thank you. Drama. Don't. Two dollies. RSO brother lives in the house. We don't care. We really don't care. Drama. Don't. The drama is for your channels and channels that you like. We don't care. We don't care. What somebody did 20 or 30 years ago, we don't care. We care about crimes that are happening now. Um, Michelle <laughs> with the laughing lemonade. I love it. I love this stuff. Love your channel, Betty. Thank you. Thank you. Danny became a new member. Uh, God bless you, Danny. Just a country girl. Love your channel. You're amazing. Keep up the amazing work you do. Miss Jones, new member. No, uh, Nona of four. I didn't even see you. I'm so sorry. Uh, says, thanks for all you do. Haters are going to hate. Keep, keep on keeping on. We really appreciate you and love you. A uh, new member, come on, y'all. Uh, Jennifer L., who timed me out? We realized it was most likely her internet. We saw all the conversation. Tony, new member, God bless you. Uh, Lake Effect, uh, thank you for your contribution. Uh, Jennifer L., uh, BHB, check your mod chat. Uh, oh, check my mod chat. I just got what you meant. Hold on. Sorry. Let me go to my mod chat. Thank you. Mod chat. There we are. Okay. Got to get up to my, wow. We've been talking. I didn't even see all this stuff in here. Oh, and no, they did not strike my channel. Uh, that, that, uh, they tried to strike my channel. It was appealed. Um, up the food chain, not only they, they, they kept the, the video removed, but they removed the community strike from me saying that it was not as serious as alleged. And I've got that in writing from YouTube, uh, which uh, kicked off the whole thing of me getting uh, in writing what I'm allowed to say on here and what I'm not. So they can go ahead and mass strike and everything else. But YouTube has told me time and time again, as long as they don't care, they're used to mass striking. This is what happens on YouTube. And as long as I'm not doing anything wrong and, and following the terms of service, they will never punish me. And, and if I do, it will be temporary and they will reverse it. So I make sure I never do anything wrong, despite what, what the hate channels try to tell their people. I am in contact regularly with YouTube 
And you know what? I have never once went down. I haven't had a strike. They haven't been able to strike my channel. They haven't been able to do anything. They, they fail at everything they do. They literally fail at everything they do. And so this is just going to make them get angrier and angrier where they get more people to do it, you know, because they are just angry people. And I love exposing the truth about them. I love exposing the truth. They keep thinking they're going to expose me, but they have a lot more demons in their closet than I ever had. And those things, when you come out and you try to sit there and say that you can do something, but nobody else can, people have a problem with that. That's called hypocrisy. And, and, and quite frankly, you haven't paid one bill of mine. You've never contributed to my channel, me, or anything else. You don't pay my taxes. You don't pay for my house. You don't pay for my car. You have no business knowing it. And if you want to come out about me, then I want to know everything about you. Where are you spending your money? How are you wasting your subscribers' hard-earned money? That's what I would like to know. Oh, you don't want to tell anybody the truth. You don't want to tell anybody that. Why? Oh, it's private information. It's your personal information. Hmm. That's funny. That is funny. So I love, I love exposing it. And we are putting this up, the hypocr hypocrisy. You have watched that lady make video after video after video after video after video. I didn't go on here. I didn't throw a fit. I didn't call for a mass striking. I didn't call for you taking her channel down. I didn't call for any of that. Over all these, these, these multiple, I mean, you're talking about 50 or 60, maybe more videos she has made about me and have done absolutely nothing. Nothing. I've ignored it, right? But then I got a little, you know, wild hair at my butt yesterday and decided to do some research on her. And damn, what did I find? I found the mother loader. Right. And people are like, well, we've already presented it. Uh, we've already told people about it. No, yeah, but it hasn't been told on my channel. It may have been told on other channels, but it hasn't been told here. So we're going to tell it. And the, the difference is, is you're not going to be able to lie because we investigate this stuff. We know how to get to the bottom of the truth. That's why our channel is so successful. People that work hard and get results are more successful than people that whine, bitch, and complain. Andrew, they saw you. And, and yeah, so they reversed that and they removed the community strike. So that does, if that doesn't show you, if that doesn't show you that these people don't know what the heck they're talking about, they're making their, their own audience jump through all these hoops to do all these things with no results, you would think that they would stop utilizing their energy for things that don't work and don't produce results, but they're idiots. They're insane. What is insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over again, expecting zip different results. That is literally the definition of insanity. So those people over there on their channel are literally insane because they keep doing the same exact thing over and over and over again and getting absolutely nowhere. They honestly believe if they keep doing it, they're going to get different results. And it's just not going to happen. And until I do something really horrible on YouTube, I'm going to be here for a really long time because I don't break the rules or the terms of service. Now, they may want to believe that the terms of service say other things on them, and that is okay. But at the end of the day, it doesn't. And me saying somebody's name on here and bringing up a public record on a true crime channel, they're not going to be able to take this down. I've done everything the right way. I've done everything in accordance with YouTube's terms of service. That should tell you right there, I'm following the rules. They're over there right now, pe pecking madly, madly trying to take this channel down. Multiple people coming over here and trying to report this, this channel as harassment and everything else. That's what they're doing. But if I really was doing those things, I would be brought down. YouTube would take this live stream down in the middle of the live stream. And you don't see that happening because what they're doing isn't working. That's why. We've seen, like even Benny Keys, he was throwing out my personal private information, home addresses, phone numbers, and everything else. He started getting um, hit, and they literally dropped his live in the middle of the live. They took it off. They brought it down. 
These people have been over here. I've been on for two hours and 15 minutes and they're ready to, to take me out again. And guess what? Hi, nice to see you. Still here. You're still a loser and a failure. I'm still a winner and a success. And no matter how much you hate me, it's not going to change that. And I love triggering you. And I'm going to continue to do it until you get the message. Until you get the message, I'm going to continue to do this. And I'm going to continue to preach the truth, not some crackpot lie. You can lie to your audience all day long, but your audience is coming over here so they can report back to you. So I got your audience on my channel and I'm going to expose you, lady. I'm going to expose you. I'm going to review you. I'm going to make 200 channels about how horrible of a person you are because I've got nothing to do with my life than bitch and complain. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Bullshit level. Death card five. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. I'm sorry, the button cracks me up. The button cracks me up. <laughs> that cracks me up. You realize nobody really cares. Nobody really cares. You guys keep trying to come in here and, and dox people and actually violate terms of service because you guys are criminals. This person's in here trying to dox my dad's name. Literally, do, but they're they're complaining about terms of service. Clearly, they don't care. They're allowed to violate them. So I'm going to tell you guys this. This is what I'm going to tell you. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you see another channel, actually, I don't care if it's me or some other creator. If you actually see them advocating to try to take a channel down unnecessarily or or to mass report them, I want you guys to go and clip that 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 segment where they're trying to get the mass report. And I also want you to give them everything they're asking for you to do somebody else. I want you to do that to them. So if they're instructing their audience to do it, I want you to do just the opposite. Take it as instruction to do just the opposite. Do whatever they're asking you to, them to do to somebody else. Do that to them. So if they want to quit, if they want to stop it, then quit, quit, quit doing it. Because we're going to be reactive to your requests. So that means when you request it, when you violate YouTube's terms of service, that's going to notify all of these other people. And I don't even have to say it because they now know every time you call for it, they are going to hit you. They will hit you. You want to play these games? The, the audience will play, play of it too. There's a lot of people in here that come here that love drama, but love the fact that we don't get into the drama on this channel. We talk about cases and they go get their drama fixed on other channels. But they watch these channels. And whenever you call for mass reporting, believe me, it's going to start going the opposite way. Every time you ask for a mass reporting of another person, another innocent person, you are going to start getting mass reported. You are going to, and they're going to be following your instructions. So I'm never going to say anything. From this point forward, every time they hear you demand somebody to go do that, they're going to get into action and start doing that to you. And nobody is going to say anything about it because you instigated it all by yourself. All by yourself. And again, we're going to keep, we're going to keep at it. And you guys can dox my family. They, my family knows if somebody calls them or anything else, they are to, to, to tell them to F, F you. You're about to get a message, Boo Boo Kitty, here, since you're so thirsty. Well, thank you for giving me your money, but you know what? You're not going to be able to do anything to me, and it must burn your ass. Literally burn your ass, but I'll take your money. Thank you for the support of my channel. Appreciate it, babe. Appreciate it. And you know what I'm going to do with that $5? Thank you for that, but guess what I'm doing? I'm going to remove your $5. Look at that. So now you just wasted your money and you're not even in the chat. Damn. And you just got timed out. <laughs> Love it. Oh, yes, yes. Let me get down here. I've seen some other ones coming in. Hold on a second. Oh, I miss, must have missed you. Hold on. 
<laughs> How did you like that? Take her money and then and then and time her out. You should have went for the dollar ninety nine. Why give me five bucks? I wouldn't even give you five bucks if I wanted. Actually, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have paid. <laughs> I wouldn't have paid. I'm too damn cheap. My money goes toward the kids. Love you, love you, Betty and chat. Thanks for a great <laughs> all facts live with a with a side of drama. <laughs> all facts live with a side of drama. We did a side of drama today, right? They ain't the main course. They're they're just the uh, the coleslaw, as Jody Sue Brown says. They're just the coleslaw. Uh oh, Mama Bullhorn. Uh oh, <laughs> what's up, Mama? Oh, you're 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 messaging yourself on here. What do you mean? Oh, I know. I saw that. I, I don't worry. I took the five dollars and kicked them off. Besides your dad and you, I'm waiting for the rest of the family to start popping up. <laughs> oh, but but I thought I thought I was doxing people. I never even dox people. I mean, I could have told the lady, but what they're trying to do is make, force me to say the lady's uh, first and last name, which I'm allowed to do because there's only certain things. And sorry, calling somebody their legal lawful name does not get you kicked off of YouTube. Well, I have to say kudos to all the mods because I don't know why, but I think my phone is very slow. I don't see them. And by the time I see them, somebody's already blocked them. I know. My mods are amazing. Somebody's got great Wi-Fi. But, um, oh, yeah, that or a fast computer. Faster than an iPhone 13. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but anyways... Don't, don't you find this uh, all, all, all awful um, uh, comical that they try to sit there? And this just shows you that it's not us doing it because they try every day to tell their audience. They go on these rampages about how Bullhorn Betty docks somebody. I don't dox anybody. I keep it. I keep it with the terms of service. But yet they come over here and start doxing us while they're saying I'm doxing them. Talk about. This is just somebody saying, look over there so you're not seeing what we're doing over here. They're hypocrites. They're disgusting individuals. And they will always be criminals. You can't, that, and I even said that at the last um, uh, Board of County Commissioner meetings, the definition of, crim the definition of uh, criminal by definition, don't follow the law. Law-abiding citizens are the only ones that do that. And clearly, these people are thugs. They think they're thugs on the internet street. Well, baby, I like to clean up thugs. I clean up the thugs around this neighborhood. I'll clean up the thugs on the YouTube streets. Um, you said something the other day about your mom being too nice to pull the trigger. You remember that conversation, don't it, 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 admit, <laughs> admit that we did have that conversation and you did remove the gun out of the house. I did, but. I didn't take the Louisville slugger out. No, you didn't. And there's one young man. We won't go there. Let's not tell that story. There's one young man in Manatee County, probably still here, that knows that Mama Bullhorn knows how to use that Louisville mm -hmm. slugger. But trying to sneak, trying to sneak Bullhorn Betty out of the house one night. Now, uh, actually, that brings up another valid point. People like to 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 um, uh, call me. People like to actually call me um, a racist. Would you please tell the people what color that boy was? He was black. Oh, but I didn't. I didn't know who he was because he was shaking. It was the, a he dark was. He bedroom, <laughs> and instead of coming through the front door like a normal person well it was, was midnight through your mom. bedroom window and my mama bear attack mode kicked in and i grabbed his hair and his shirt and i literally was pulling him in the house telling him, <laughs> that poor you're boy dead. turned white i'm like mom you're no dead. you're dead buddy you're dead she and thought somebody was breaking friends, in and they were trying to break me out and their friends in the car just <laughs> And there he was, halfway in and halfway out, and he wiggled out of his shirt and got away. But I, oh, I remember him. He's like, I ain't doing that again. He's like, next time, uh, next time I tell you to be outside, you be outside. <laughs> oh, Guys, I was really young. I think I was like 14 or 15 at the time. This 15, is, yeah. yeah, 15. And 
then it was, I think, the second time your stepdad had ever been over to our house. And he just stood in the hallway and just about wet his pants. <laughs> the men, the men had to change. By the time, by the time Baba Bullhorn was done, both men had to change the britches. <laughs> Listen, I was raised right. Yeah. Somebody come in in your house. Can you believe they stole they stole uh, Dad's photo and stuck it on there too? Like who 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 cares? Who, who who really cares? Who they like? They have back channels. They probably already blew up Dad, but they don't realize Dad doesn't answer the phone. You don't. You've changed your phone number. I mean, everybody's phones are like nobody gives a shit about their petty crap. That's what they don't understand. Nobody cares. I prank calls all the time, but I don't answer them. Yeah, and I've got my settings. I go to voicemail. Yeah, I, I literally they're, they're have my calls. Yeah, but I I literally have mine set right now for contact only. Like they could literally have a campaign right now to blow up Bullhorn Betty's phone, and my phone won't even ring. It'll never ring. Yeah. I mean, they're idiots. Like just just <laughs> pure idiots. I feel bad for their parents. But um. Well, I, I don't turn mine on because of the very reason something could happen to one of my children and a total stranger would be trying to get a hold of me. Mm -hmm. You know, like that has happened before. Yeah. Your sister Angela was in that car accident and a total stranger called me. So, yes. That's why it's important to ice our phones. Everyone, please, in case of emergency, your phones. Yeah. Please. Because it's very important when a total stranger helps your loved one and they have no idea who to call. Right. And if it's under ICE, I-C-E, they can get a hold of someone. Right. Well, actually, I need to go up because they have a, a in case of emergency uh, contact on the driver's license. Many people don't realize that that you can add a, a person on your driver's license in case of emergency to call. So if you're in a car wreck or you've been injured in an automobile accident or something like that, or, or if you're hit by a car when you're walking, uh, if you have your driver's license on it and they run it, they will have a, an emergency contact to reach out to. So if you haven't updated that with your local DMV, I implore everybody in this chat to please update that um, uh, with the DMV. So if in, in ICE, it, but it, the DMV is the, the most important because I think I still have my ex-husband on it and his phone number has changed. So I need to go up there and probably change it to you. Well, I'll tell you what, I have not updated my photo on my driver's license in at least 15 years. Mm -hmm. And we were boarding um, a tour, I mean, a cruise ship, a cruise boat mm -hmm. on the Mississippi last week. It was a day cruise. And the cop looked at my driver's license and I, I had a a sky in my eye. My eye was almost frozen shut, so I had Aww. sunglasses on. Yeah. And a hat on. And he told me to take my glasses off. And he looked at my driver's license. And he looked at me and I said, Don't worry, it's fifteen years old. The picture is fifteen years old. Mm -hmm. Well, mine, I, mine is uh I, I need to go get a new photo on mine because I lost so much weight. Uh, during the divorce that, I mean, it, it does look like me, but I don't like it. <laughs> I know. It's like William. Oh, gosh, he'll be sitting here. I have all the family photos coming up on the TV, mm -hmm. right? Because I have them on the cloud. And he he knows what you look like because we watch you on TV together. Oh, wait, I don't want your sister knowing that. I don't think she watches the channel. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't think she watches. But anyway, and one of the older pictures popped up when he was a brand new baby. And he goes, Nana, who's that? Because <laughs> you don't even look like yourself. Mm -mm. And he goes, who's that? That's an Andrew. No, it's not. Right. Because he's used to seeing you with a very, very blonde hair mm -hmm. and a very slender build. And he goes, 
Aww. Aww. That's cute. That's cute. But anyway, <laughs> I have to make you laugh some today. Absolutely. Well, I've been laughing the whole time because I love the fact that I'm triggering all these people on YouTube just for um, showing somebody's true court record that wants to be so nasty to such such people and such a vile, disgusting person and, and thinks her crap doesn't stink and then wants to lie and hide about what she's done and doesn't want to be transparent, open, or honest about it. You know, I don't like the hypocrisy on here. And every opportunity I have an opportunity to expose it, I will. Way, tell Jennifer L. It's in the genes. She said, you don't look your age. Well, honey, your mother doesn't look her age either. Well, well that, that's, that's a compliment. Like, I'm worried. I got, I got one little wrinkle starting to come up here. And I've been using you know, night cream, the retinol, I'm like, smooth this baby out, smooth this baby out. <laughs> well, when I'm going out in, um, oh my gosh, I ran into the guy that hired me once upon a time, mm -hmm. 25 plus years ago in the grocery store the other day. And he still looks the same because he was uh, General Schwarzkopf's adjutant, whatever. He was really high ranking in the army and um, he hired me where I used to work because mm -hmm. he was the direct, he was the VP of uh, human resources at the time. And he saw me and I saw, I had, I was in the grocery store, no hair, no makeup, you know, I didn't expect to see anyone. And he just did a double take. He says, is that you? <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, it's me. And as always, I'm a hugging on him, you know, we're, and we do hug. I mean, mm. it's for a minute, minute or more. Here comes his wife. <laughs> She's always, every time I see him, she walks up, we're hugging on each other. <laughs> Better be careful. You know, that's how rumors get started. <laughs> I don't think so. He hired me sight unseen because of my resume. So oh, I'll never forget it. He says, don't let me down. I go, I won't. Mm -hmm. The day he interviewed me, don't let me down. I've already hired you. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm the last person you'll ever have to worry about. <laughs> 21 and a half years later, I was still there. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, this, uh, you know, wannabe uh, drug thug yesterday when I showed the uh, court court records is, you know, st stated that that wasn't her, that it was a dead person, a dead person. And I finally got the obituary of the dead person. And lo and behold, the dead person does not have the same date of birth or the same middle name as the court record I showed. Now we've got somebody in here saying she didn't deny that was her mugshot. Yes, she did. Uh, she denied that she sold drugs to kids, which is what people would would like proof of. Um, no, I want her to acknowledge that entire docket is hers. That's what I want, Dane. I want I want her to finally acknowledge that uh, that she is a three time felon and she lied to her audience, and then I'll show proof of the the charges. Because well, right now I'll she needs to, to say, she needs to come clean. Well, I have to say. Um, the people who don't acknowledge their faults or their mistakes or their sins will be on the outside of the pearly gates looking in. Mm -hmm. But she's done some, she's done some, um, because she does some you, major you get through those pearly gates Yeah, and not fess up. And I've always been one to say, okay, it's my fault. Or I, maybe I did it. I'm sorry. It could be my fault. You know, I have never hesitated, you know, to, <laughs> to acknowledge adults do, you know, there, it's just, you know, you people in, in life make mistakes, you know, there's, there's things that they, you know, a lot of people have to overcome. No one's perfect in this world. No one walks a perfect path and just constantly be pointing the finger at everybody else, but never looking at yourself is not a good strategy, especially knowing that everybody else has to walk a path and nobody's perfect. You should be cautious about those things. If you don't want personal attacks coming your way, then you should probably not be giving personal attacks a different way. 
So the, the way that this is all resolved is stop personally attacking people and let people have their liberties on YouTube and, and do their job and work. They can work without constantly bashing people and other people over the head that are doing that. Like we're not even talking about them. We have, we don't care what they do. Go talk about the children, talk about all the cases you want, but this slander, this, this, these lies, these, this, well, this defamation that you keep throwing out to everybody else and don't expect it to come knocking at your door eventually is ridiculous because what goes around in this world comes around in this world. Well, uh, internet bullying is a federal law. Mm -hmm. And that can come back and bite you on the butt. It takes a lot of work. I can tell you that. It takes a lot of work to get the stuff um, to that point because you, you know how hard I've been working and we're just getting, finally getting to the point where we can, uh, start taking action. And, um, it, it's, 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 I gotta be honest with you. It's, it's not easy. Well, not easy at times. I should say that. Why is my airdrop not working? All right. Well, I'll let you go. All right, mom. I gotta, I gotta get ready and head south. All right. Love you. Take care. Somebody's little fifth birthday. Aww. Yeah, I know. All right. I know. Give lots of loves, lots of hugs, lots of kisses. I'll be doing All a right. fundraiser tomorrow. I'm going to be at a red carpet event tomorrow helping um, one of the Catholic charities raise money for their um, their nonprofit. Okay. I love you. I Bye. love you too. Bye-bye. Right from the mouth of babes, Mama Bullhorn. Mama Bullhorn, sweet lady, but she don't play. She just don't play. So let me try this again. I don't understand why my airdrop was not working. It should be working, right? I mean, we do have airdrop. My, this is my Mac. Is this my Mac? It is my Mac. Let's try it again. My airdrop's not working. All right, we'll go the second route. Second route is... There it is, Gmail. Oh, horn. Gotta send myself some stuff. So I played this a little bit for you guys yesterday. I'm gonna play it for you guys again. I never, what does it say, Tennessee bug? It says, I've never heard of a drug dealer that checks ID. It's safe to assume she sold to young people since they are the ones buying them the most. Thank you, absolutely, absolutely. So there you have it. There you have it, folks. Can't make this stuff up. Like literally, I didn't, listen, I didn't expect to find all this stuff when I went to go look for her. You know, I just wanted to know who this crazy crackpot lady was. That's, that's really all I wanted is just to find out who she was because quite frankly, I was thinking about like maybe a, a cease and desist or you know, something like that going toward her and maybe a defamation suit or, you know, something along those lines. I wasn't expecting to find everything that I found. I can promise you that. I, that was, it, that was new to me. That was new to me. But here, I'm going to pull something. <laughs> I want you guys to watch this. If, if, let me tell you before I play this, I know I've already cussed a lot on here anyway. So God bless me. Say a prayer for me. I'll have to put five... Actually, I probably have to put a hundred dollars in the cuss jar for for today's mouth. Um, but uh, if you if you're if it, if if cussing offends you, you might want to um, mute your um, uh, mute your um, volume or you know turn your volume off just for a minute because this is riddled with a lot of cuss words. But it's funny as heck. It really is. But this is this is my message. This is my message. Ready? Damn. You ain't got to ever, ever, ever worry about getting nobody back for some shit they done did to you. Because quiet as it's kept, everybody working get paid. Let me break that down so you understand what I mean. Everybody working getting paid. See, some of you motherfuckers don't even know that you're working. But payday comes out the wild, bitch. You're being messy, you're working. You're gossiping about people, you're working. You stealing, lying. Cheating or just all around doing some fuck shit, you're working. And payday is on its motherfucking way. Ha <laughs> ha! Let me tell you something, you working motherfuckers. 
Some of you bitches got overtime in that bitch too. Ooh, that payout gonna be good. So when you get your check, bitch, don't complain. You worked for it. <laughs> Now that's what I'm talking about. And you know what? They worked for it. And when they got their just deserves, they wanted to try to take a channel out. When what they've done to other people circled around and came and bit them right in their rear end, they wanted to cry, complain, and cancel that person. Yet they want the opportunity to continue to do that conduct to other people without being scathed, without being held responsible, without being held accountable for their actions. But once they get a little taste, a little taste, like I have not even come close, like I have given them not even 1% of what they have given me over the last year and a half. And when I give them just that little taste of their own medicine, they want to come over here and cry, oh, poor Betty and me. Oh, Oh, we need to take her out. She's so mean. She's she's the most dangerous person on YouTube. Let's make a binder. A binder will work. Let's send it across the country to all the law enforcement agents. They're going to arrest her. And we're going to take her channel. How does it feel to be a failure? You fail at everything. I succeed at everything I touch. Meanwhile, you fail. Over and over and over again. If you can't take what you're dishing, quit dishing it out. But damn sure don't come here looking for sympathy and crying, moaning and groaning when you can cause all this mess and talk all the cash shit you want to talk about everyone else. And then when people start exposing you, you go and tell everybody that I am doxing a dead person's record. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You went on for five hours telling your entire audience that I was doxing the wrong person's record, that the record I showed was the record of a dead woman. Well, we got that obituary. The obituary had a different date of birth and a different middle name. So, no, the record I showed is not the record of a deceased woman. We did voice matches, voice comparison. And even after she denied it yesterday and told her audience that wasn't her, it's a dead person's record, we find a clip of her acknowledging that very fact. And while people may say that she is, uh, she's already acknowledged that she sold drugs and that she's a felon, she told you, she only committed one crime. She's got over three felonies on her record. Three. What about the other two? Countless other criminal charges. Misdemeanor charges that she was convicted of. So not only has she been convicted of three felonies, she's been convicted of a slew of misdemeanors on top of that. She wants to take her subs money and spend it on drugs cigarettes, and other stuff while complaining about me for spending my subs money on going to other states and advocating for children and purchasing flyers and posting flyers for missing people and children. She disses me for spending my money for poster signs and things of that nature to be put up for these children. She's complaining about me spending my money doing candlelight vigils for a child that has still has not come home yet. Where's your money going, babe? Because I haven't seen you buy one thing to help your channel, help a victim, or help a child. So what's good for the goose? Again, it's good for the gander. I don't grift. People know when they come here, what they see is what they get. Get. On the other hand, the definition of a grifter is a swindler. A petty swindler. Like when somebody lies to their audience about who they are to garner financial support. 
That is a grifter. So before you ever come here calling Bullhorn Betty a grifter, Miss Wannabe Drug Thug, you are the epitome of that definition. Want to keep going? Have you had enough yet? We have now proved conclusively, without a doubt, 100%, that that record I showed yesterday, that public record, is hers. She can't lie about it now. You wanted to throw a, a, an obituary out that just happens to have the same first and last name as you? The problem is, is you're flawed because she didn't have the same middle name. And she was from a different area than your area. And you are still living in your aunt's house. You never moved. You're still there. So what say you? Still going to deny that those charges? You're still going to deny that entire record? My record had traffic citations, ones that were fines, not ones I had to appear in court for by the way. Mine were just simple fines, maybe $100, $150. I had to pay them, you know, like 10, you know, I was going like seven miles over the speed limit, not 25. So I have some, I have citations on there. And as you know, I've been sued and I sue, right? So we have those civil cases on there. All of hers are criminal. All of hers are literally criminal. And not only that, you're talking about um, charges that they actually had evidence to take her to trial and convict her. So I'd like to see how she can explain why her middle name is so much different than the deceased woman. And unfortunately, the deceased woman's record was not the record I was showing. It was hers. And now you know why she got so triggered yesterday and why she went completely, utterly bonkers when this information was exposed. And they're trying to downplay it and say, oh, well, other people did it. You're right, other people did it. But it didn't have Bullhorn Betty's name on it. There's a difference. Other people can throw this out all day long, but it didn't have my name on it. And as you know, because you hate me so much, because you're jealous, my name does carry weight. Our batting average on these cases on this side are pretty stinking good. We have gotten we have gotten more right than we have gotten wrong. Have we gotten stuff wrong? Of course. Why? Because we're not perfect. Duh. But I think a 90% batting average is pretty stinking good. Because you're talking about us not having you know, a huge uh, t research team. Um, you know, we're not, we, mainstream media has millions and millions and millions of dollars. They have a lot of employees, uh, an entire research team. We don't have that here on this channel. And we are able to have a 90% batting average and stand right next to, 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 to multi-million dollar mainstream media organizations covering this, covering whatever case it may be. That's huge. We may be a small channel, but I'm telling you, people around this country are noticing this channel. We have been interviewed more for our activism than any of these hate channels have. We have been on news more than any of these hate channels have. We've had news from all over the country following us, not them. There's a reason. Nobody knows who these people are. Everywhere all over the country, and including in the state of Florida, where I live, know who I am. And not Bullhorn Betty. They know Andrew Griffin. They know Andrew Griffin, a.k.a. Bullhorn Betty. I have name recognition all over this country and all over this world. They can't say that. They can't say that. I have huge social media platforms, not just YouTube. I have over 109, if you count, calculate all my, um, my social media platforms, I have over 192,000 followers. Calculate them up. I have over 192,000 followers. They can never say that. 
So why they try to tell you how horrible and bad I am and all this other stuff, I'm not them. I'm not them. Just heard, I missed the excitement. Love you, BHB. Oh, you missed it all right. You missed it all right. Because uh, it is, you know, they want to throw down. Hey, here I am. Come take me out. Come show me what you're made of. Once and for all. Come do it. Double dog dare you. Take Bullhorn Betty out. Take my channel down. Take it down. Go mass report it. Go. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Come on. Go into those little chat rooms and, and conspire to take a channel down. And you know what? At the end of the day, you're going to be, you're still going to be a failure. You're still going to be a failure. And then that, can, that you're just going to be an angry individual because you can't do what you want to do because what you're doing is wrong. It's wrong. It's entertaining. We trigger them so much. It is. I know. I know. That's why I came on here. Cause I, you know, I mean, I went out there and, and did that, but you want to come in my chat and, and act like this, 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 um, felon somehow is supreme to me. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's small potatoes. She's uneducated. She's a drug addict, drug dealer. No, no. And I still believe she she's still on drugs. So I'm gonna tell her that you know if she needs help, I'll help I'll help her get help so she can start living a good life and having a you know a better life. If she really wants it, there is help out there for her. There's help out there for all of them if they just they have to make the first step and realize they have a problem. Once that first step is accomplished, the real work begins. But when they keep lying about it, you know, they're in denial. They'll never get better. They will never get better. But you know what? We need to start asking them, where are they spending their money? Every time they ask me where I'm spending my money, I am pretty as, as transparent as possible. I am as transparent as possible. All the money that, that is on here for Super Sticker, Super Chat, everybody sees. Uh, everybody knows that I have a wish list and a thank you, um, a thank you list. People want to sponsor or support one of those things in, in lieu of a super chat. They have a right to do that. And they know exactly exactly where their money is going. And, and let me remind the haters, it's their money that they work for, that they spent, and they have a right to spend it any way they choose to, not the way you tell them to spend it. So we are ultra, ultra transparent over here. What do they do? They don't do all of that. They're not transparent. They just want the cash. They just want the super chats, super stickers, the Venmo, and the cash apps. They just want the cash. But they cannot show us where they have spent their money. They haven't showed us where their money is going, where their contributions and subscribers are going. Not like I care because the, the subscribers support the creator, but if they're going to put that on my, on my, if I'm required to do that, by God, they better be willing to do that. Where's their money going? I bet you it's going to cigarettes, marijuana, God knows what else, booze. Mine's going travel, flyers, posters, children, victims, gas, hotels, equipment. Where's theirs going? Tell them to pony up their receipts. They want all mine. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I know, Becky. I know, Becky. Nothing you said is wrong. There you go. There you go. There you go. I mean, we are on this thing. If, if you really truly believe that that record I showed you is not her, then, then I, I can't fix stupid. I really can't. I can't fix stupid. When you can present ample evidence, ample evidence, that is what I presented to you today. I presented you public records. I presented you, I presented you evidence to prove conclusively. Hold on. Guidance is on the phone. Yo. Hey, press start for Caitlin at two o'clock. 
Um, and Father is a person of interest. Uh, the chat's asking for it. What is it? There's a presser at two for Taylin, and Father is a person of interest. The chat's asking for it to be straight. The Father is the person of interest. Yep, and they're getting ready to put it on the presser in three minutes. Okay. Now, do we have a link for all right. it at all? I think it's WFLA. Uh, I like to get pulled press. Hold on. Um, let's see. Press conference. Stay with me until I find it. Okay. It's their it's their live that they're streaming right now. Okay, hold on. Let me. I'm trying to find stuff, and I'm trying to see if I can find it. Could be in danger after mom was found. Why are they not putting these? Yeah, I wanted to get a different local stu uh, channel besides WFLA. I'm just not a fan of WFLA, and I don't like supporting things I'm not a fan of. But they do provide a lot of. Things. I know Ten Live. I want to say it was Ten Live that was also streaming. For okay. Him too. Let me. Uh, let me go. Let me. Let me. Uh, let me hold on just a second. Don't. Don't leave until I find it. I'm gonna probably keep saying that to you <laughs> just to be on. Uh, just to be uh, cautious. Okay, yeah, there is a press conference. So I'll, I'll go ahead and, and put this up here. Oh, it's starting. All right, okay, let me go. All right, bye. bye. Guys, I'm gonna try to get this up right now. They said the grandmother of Taylin is missing as well. and caring and he's just very sweet and he'll smile and laugh at anybody and there's amber alerts everywhere everywhere and you guys have seen them i have people all over the country calling me about the amber alerts so i'm asking everybody if anybody somebody saw something okay? please speak up so if you know something say something help us get taylor back taylor lost his mommy so he needs his family right now. So we ask for your help um, in finding him. Somebody knows. Somebody please knows something. Please, please speak up. Somebody knows something. Somebody saw something. And passion just um, a beautiful mom. love to uh, be with his family. We miss him, Does he have a nickname? We call him Tay Tay. Tay Tay. Okay. Tay, -tay uh, he yes, he um, will answer. The glam. You. He answer the glam. Yeah. He answers to a lot of things. Um he's you know very you know, smart. He's always kid. calling his mom on his cell phone. Yep. Always. He misses his mom. They call each other all the time. She really loved Tay Taylor. Yeah, we don't know. She about always was there for Taylor. She calls on breaks. Yep. And um early in the morning they FaceTime me early in the morning. Yep. We're without words. You know, we just are, we love passion very much and we love very Taylor. much. So we just, we've lost passion. So Sweet we Taylor. ask you guys to help us to find Taylor and to get him back. Please, please help, please. What was your daughter like? What was her personality? She's very uh, outspoken, always make you laugh. Smile, smile, Beautiful smile all the always time. Always joking. Trying to rap. Laughing. <laughs> always trying to rap. <laughs> Saying. Scaring you when you're not expecting it. Always hiding behind you. Like, yeah, I mean, love she, to scare you all the time. You know, Ever since she was like three, four years yeah, old. She was 20, you know, yes. but she's a loving kid and she loved that baby. That, love baby, that baby loves so her. Sweet. I can remember when Taylor was born. I was coming from Seminole, you know, I working. He looked up at me like, I say, Taylor, Taylor Mosley. And he said, huh? Close his eyes. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, glad me to go sit down now. <laughs> yeah. And if he but calls for his auntie, that's me. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Auntie like and TT. He's been named a person of interest. Is there anything you would say to him or what? There's, There's nothing we have to say. Your daughter was making a life for herself. And so what she was doing, how she was making her way and making, picking her way and making a life for she was her son. Well, she had just moved. Um, she was working at CVS. She had just moved out here. Mm -hmm. This was her first month that she lived here. 
um, and very happy to have a better place than what she had before. And for a 20-year-old, she was doing well. She wanted more out of life. And, um, you know, I just, I, we're without words. Now, are you guys originally from the St. Petersburg area, or, or where was she, where was she born? She's from St. Pete, like, yes. St. Pete. Originally from St. Pete. Yeah. Just what have you guys been uh, doing last night and today? Uh, I know the answer is you're obviously looking for Taylor, but how, how are you doing that? Who are you contacting? What, what, what steps have you guys been taking to try and you know, uncover anything? We're just making sure that everybody is aware of the Amber Alerts, that it's, it's showing up, passing down on Facebook um, and in any other social media outlet, make sure that everybody sees it. Um, and so we've been, it's, it's very difficult because we're in a really grieving pattern right now, you know, because we don't know where Taylor is and we've lost passion, you know, so we're depending on the St. Pete Police Department and all of you media to help us to find Taylor. I'm sure you're all prayed up right now. Oh, yes, and we are. We have prayed and prayed and we've asked everybody else to pray. Too. I'm so sorry for your loss. We're really hoping for Tay Tay Thank you. Thank you. If, if anyone out there camera. is watching this and, sure. you know, knows where Taylor is, what message do you give to that person? Please bring Taylor home. He needs his family. Home safely. He needs his family. Because he's he missing his, his family. He's missing his mother. So he needs to be around people who love and care about him. He's missing his grandmother. His great grand. His great great. Yeah. When you see that Amber Alert out in the space being shared by people who might not even know him, what is that like for you to see that picture being shared everywhere? Well, I, I, it's very difficult to see it, continually see it. But, you know, we have to see it just like the Amber Alert ran across the, the cable system all night long, you know, so a lot of people, uh, it's it's difficult because we don't know where he is and we want to know where he is and we're glad that they're doing it um, so that we can have a possibility of, of getting him and getting him back. So well, look at the glass. Give us a bit of an update here too. Do you have any idea what might have happened here at all? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna do everything in our power. Thank you. Please, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. As you saw from her, it's very emotional. I'm gonna give you the timeline again about what happened yesterday. Then open it for any questions, uh, if you wish. And again, our two most important things right now is number one, to find Talon and bring him home. And number two, to find out who killed Miss Jeffries. That's that's our main goal right now. This is all hands on deck. Every detective is working this case. I just briefed the mayor prior to coming here. I want to thank our partners that are out there. Number one, the uh, St. Pete Police, the St. Pete Fire Department, the Clearwater Fire Department dive team, they're here. Uh, the Sheriff's Office, Pinellas County, for bringing their aviation unit out here. Manatee for bringing out the K-9. Our partners at FDLE, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and the FBI. So as you can see, everyone here is working on this case. So again, I'm going to go over the timeline that with you yesterday and more information that has come that's come before us. So yesterday, as I said, yesterday, the last time the family was seen around 5.20, 5.20 on Wednesday afternoon. With the family members as you saw grandmother right here talking to them around 8 30 wednesday night someone said they heard a noise they heard some type of noise that was out there around nine o'clock the father arrives at his mother's home cut his hands cut his hands are cut and, and his arms are cut wow from there he goes to the hospital and he admits himself into the hospital the father is a person of interest but nothing in our investigation, I want to repeat that, nothing in our investigation leads us to believe that he is a victim. We uh, tried speaking to him and uh, he's not talking to us at this time. So we're going to continue doing our investigation. The main thing that I want people out there to know is tomorrow morning, if there's any volunteers that want to come out, we're going to do a search at 8 o'clock in the morning. So. If you just want to come to the location, we'll also put it up on our Facebook page on where you need to come so you can help us look for yep. 
We're going to be Kaylin, there, guys. Uh, and we're going to continue to do the search throughout our city. This is an ongoing investigation. As we get more information, I'll be more than happy to share it with you. And again, our goal right now is to find Taylor. So with that, I'll open it for questions. Can you tell us anything about any other areas you're searching besides that place? Yes, we are looking at another location. We'll get that to you later on uh, this afternoon. But we're going to start here because as you see the crime scene is there. We're going to search this area, search the complex south of us. And then as we get more information, we'll ask these volunteers to join us in those areas also. So we want to talk to the father. What time did he say he arrived? He said at his mother's house with his hands cut or where exactly? So around 915, uh, he's at his mother's house. His hands are cut and his arms are cut. And then he admits himself into the hospital. Have you been able to determine what cut his hands and his arms? No, we have not. I, I can. We're going to talk about, about, about it. How speculative. Was killing, so has a murder weapon been covered if such exists. That's still part of our investigation. So the answer is yes. That I don't know. Chief, you notice that they're looking in the lake, the back of the car. Did you guys have any trees that lead into that lake? Why are they looking in the lake? We're going to search this whole area. So that lake's part is complex. So we're going to probably do like a mile radius search of that. Well, and the lake is lake's the first place we're going to look. Just maybe he walked away or something like that. But we want to make sure that we check everything in this area. We follow up on every lead that we can follow up. And that's another thing. If anybody has any information, you just heard from the grandparents and the uncles and the family members. Please, please contact us. Let's bring the baby home. Let's get him home. Are you, are you going to be searching all the bodies of water that are around this complex? Because there are several of them. We are. Uh, the dive team's out there. Also, we're using drones. So the drones can do like a grid search. So we can, we can cover more area. Because, again, the helicopter is pretty high. But the drone can get pretty low and do a grid search. Chief, can you give us any geographic of a reference as to where the mother lives in relation to this complex? Yeah, right behind me, uh, as you saw, the, the, the you're talking to the, the victim. The no, no, the other, the, the father, the father the mom, where, where he went. I, I'm not going to give you the information at, at this time. Now, how did you guys um, realize that the father had these cuts on his hands? Was that after a detective went to go interview him, or did someone else you know, of his family. Through our investigative lead with some of the family members, we were able to find that out. Have there been any previous calls to service here? Any consideration? Not one. Violence? This is, and we didn't get a call that night uh, when per somebody heard some noise. No one called us that night. The only time, the only time we came here is after the mother of the deceased. She called because as she told you earlier, she FaceTimes her every day. So she didn't hear anything from her. She called the property manager here. The property manager uh, goes to her, the deceased home, and she finds a very violent crime scene. I want to make sure, a very violent crime scene. And that's when we start looking for the child. We didn't know there was a child until later on. Does the door open? The, the, the property manager could go in, or how would, when they walked in? They, they, they had to, I'm assuming they had to unlock the door. The that's an important key. Important key factor. We're looking at everyone, but right now that we're, we're looking, uh, like I said, the father's a person of interest, but we're going to see what the investigation leads us in the evidence. We want to talk to the father. Again, we want to know where Taylor is, and we want the father, if he knows where Taylor is, to tell us. And that's what we want. We we want Taylor. Was he released not. from the hospital that night when he went, you know, for those cuts? Was he released? The father's still in the hospital. He's still in the hospital. Chief, the chief says the father have any criminal history of violence? Uh, to my knowledge, no. On top of looking in the in, in the bonds and whatnot, the uh, the dumpster here was, was, was also taken last night. Was there just this, kind of just a this is not sounding good. We're going to check everything. We couldn't look inside the dumpster last night, so we want to make sure we could take the dumpster to a location where we could search it very thoroughly. Right now, the father is not speaking, though. Is that right? The father is not talking to us. Can you say what hospital he's at? No, I did not. Chief, what time in the morning did the mom call on Thursday when she got that FaceTime call? Uh, she didn't call us. She called a property manager. So I have to get you that timeline. That, yes. The, I'm sorry. So the, the the grandmother didn't call the property manager until 2.30 p.m. Okay. And that's, when that's when they made entry in, into the home. We have a lot of ring cameras everywhere. I'm, I'm assuming you've mentioned surveillance video tracking. I don't know if there's some at the gate, but have your detectives going door to door found any sort of Video evidence that's you. There's still out there now, and if people that do have ring cameras, if you see anything on there, please share that with us. We're looking at uh, everything that we can find. Uh, we've got some pictures already where someone saw the blood trail early Thursday morning. Uh, so we're going to try to, that's what we do. We're trying to piece together this timeline. So we know there's a blood trail early Thursday morning. How was that blood trail? How did it... As you saw outside of the blood trail, right where the car was. Okay. Car. 
How important is every blood? minute? Yes. Yeah, so we'll be testing everything. Is it his blood? Is it her blood? Is it uh, Taylor's blood? Those are all the things that we've got to look at. How important is every minute when it comes to violence, finding your two-year-old baby boy? It's very important. We're, we're coming up on 24 hours. 24 hours, Taylor has been missing. That's why I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad the people out there are listening. We want to find this baby. That's our goal right now. Where is this baby? If, 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 if someone has this baby, call us. Let us take this baby. Let us bring this baby back to his family. He's already lost his mom, so let's make sure. How far out from this location do you, do you expect to expand the search? We don't know right now. Again, like I so said, we may do a mile radius. So right now we're just trying to figure out where we're going to start from. Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you. All right. There you have it, folks. Now, does, you, does it sound does it sound to you like this man gives a damn uh, about uh, Bullhorn Betty's 2007 uh, arrest and conviction for a DUI? Does this man sound, does that man sound like he gives a rat's ass? What he just asked for is for volunteers to come help look for that boy. He's asking for the public and the community's help to rise up and come out and help look for that boy. I can tell you now that we're getting this information, which was not available this morning, this morning's information, we knew that they had spoken to the father and the father did not have the boy. Now they're saying that the father is not cooperating. He's not speaking to him. He had cuts and stuff on him. So this is telling me that this is most likely um, um, she died by knife as opposed to being shot. Because whenever you get slices on your hands, typically it's because, now it could be wrong. This is just speculative in nature. I'm just taking the information that we got and theorizing on it. But it seems to me that um, this might have been a knife attack, um, an altercation. We talked about a possible uh, a, a crime of passion, crime of opportunity this morning. We also talked about our search area being, uh, you know, just basing it off the population in the area being anywhere from uh, a half a mile to a mile radius around that. And that, that the uh, police chief just confirmed that that information that I provided you this morning is accurate. Uh, even though they weren't talking about a search, we've been a party to many searches. We know how to do it. We know typically uh, the protocol and how they organize these searches for uh, these lost victims. And so again, we have a great batting average here on the Bullhorn Betty channel, and we will be out there to help search for Talon. Um, what we need to do right now, or I need to do, and maybe if the audience would like to help me, we need to get a map of that area. What we're going to be looking for, guys, and this is the sad and the most scary part about this particular case, is that um, his mother was brutally murdered, and he's missing, and his father that now is a suspect, a primary suspect in the case, had has cuts and wounds on him, so much so he had to go to the hospital. That's why I said it was a knifing, because if it was just scratches and scrapes, from a uh, physical altercation, you don't need stitches for that. However, if you're using a knife, when you have so much blood on that handle, you're, you're, it's like motor oil. It's a very slick, very slick. And as you're going in and, and blood is coming up on that knife, it makes it very dangerous for the person using it because it, it when you're, you're, you're pushing with so much force, your hand slips on the blade, causing major lacerations that will not heal on their own. You have to go get stitches for those wounds. And it, you can't stop the bleeding again on your own without going to the hospital. And that is what is, that's what they, are, they were kind of describing here on this news conference and is what's leading me to believe that this was, um, she was, she was murdered by knife as opposed to being shot or something like that. Now, the scary part is, is if the father did this and he showed up at grandma's or his mother's house without the boy and with all these things, this is, this is, this is very sickening in my, my stomach because that means he most likely did something with his son. And I'm just, hmm, the thought about that just, hmm. A two-year-old baby that just wants to live and 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 oh my God, that's just I don't I don't even know what to 
to think. Hash Brown. Um, Hash Brown, I didn't get that clip. If you can send me that clip either through Messenger or if you're my friend on uh, Facebook or email it to me. Somebody sent, uh, told me that you emailed it, but I never got it at bullhornbetty at gmail.com. So maybe you sent it. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, never mind. I do have it. I missed it. Uh, I'm waiting for the clip. Oh, okay. So you're waiting for the clip. Okay. Got it. So you're going to send that over to me once you, you get it. Yeah. I just want to put this, I, I want to put this, this whole mess to bed. I want to make sure that, um, once we do this, it's, it's done. It's confirmed. There's no wiggle room out of it. She can't sit there and lie, but getting back to this two-year-old child, um, which is missing right now. And I am, you got to think the first 48 hours, folks. Okay. You have to think about that because that's truly the standard and the statistics. And he has been missing uh, probably since uh, Wednesday night. And here it is Friday. We're going on Friday night. The, the first 48 are, are, are closing out. The first 48 hours are closing out. And if you know anything about, um, you know, these types of things, that 48 hour window, once it gets past that 48 hour window, the chances of him coming back safe and unharmed literally go down to the to the the, the smallest percentile. Uh, so it's imperative that we get out here and we really look. Hopefully, this boy got scared and and left the home and wandered off and is just in some maybe because there are some wooded areas around there. Um, but again, he's just a two year old boy. He's a two year old boy. He doesn't know better. He doesn't know where to walk. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't know that that water is is. Uh, hey, went out to. Hold on. Somebody just texted me. Let's see who it is. They went out to Taylor Apartment Complex yesterday. This is the area I live in. It's so sad. Aw. Let me tell her I'm going searching. I'm going searching tomorrow. So you guys heard it. Um, I don't want to hear people saying that a uh, oh, bullhorn's Betty sticking her nose. You just heard uh, the the police chief calling all all people that want to help search for this little boy. They're asking for community help and community support uh, to find this little boy. Well, we got all those little hecklers over on that uh, want to be uh, drug thugs channel bitching about bullhorn Betty. We are going to be helping try to find a little boy. Uh, why they sit on their asses yet again and do nothing but complain and bitch, moan and groan. We're going to be out there really doing real work out there um, and doing and, and making real changes in people's lives while they're still back on their butts, complaining, bitching, moaning and groaning because that's all they know how to do. So all those people that want to go and deal with the drama, stay with the drama. We want people over here that want to advocate for children and victims of crime. We want people over here that want to learn about cases and our true crime junkies. Uh, we have every right in this world to cover true crime, to go out there as media. We have every right to speak to our audience. We have every right to have a YouTube channel. We have every right to make this our job. We have every right um, to work hard. And, and see the fruits of our labor. We have every right to do that. That is why it is wonderful to live in America where we have endless opportunities if we uh, put ourselves in the position and, and keep working on ourselves and constantly you know, keep improving and keep trying to do better. Uh, while they're still over there complaining, griping, moaning, groaning, crying, um, saying how life's not fair. They can do they can do nasty stuff to everybody else, but when it comes knocking at their door, they don't like it too much. Well, you know, if you don't like it, if you can't handle your own garbage being thrown at you, then quit throwing it at other people. But we're going to continue to do good work here. We're going to continue um, to cover these cases. And if they want to call me a, if, 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 if doing good is called a, a, a grifter, sign me up. Sign me up. If, if doing good in this world is, is, is called um, what, uh, what other, uh, graphic name do they call me? Um, sign me up that I, I will, I will own it. I will own it. If, if doing good in this world are called those names, that's me all day long. Now, if, if what they're trying to say is a definition, I would like them to show their receipts. If I'm a grifter, what petty, petty swindling am I doing on my channel? What petty swindling am I doing? If I say I need a camera, for the channel, what else do I need a camera for? Do you think in my life 
I need a, um, a, a, a news camera for me personally. What do you think that's for? That's being transparent. And if people of, of my community want to support that camera, they have every right to be able to do that. Don't ever let anybody tell you what you can and can't do. You are responsible for yourself and only yourself, not anyone else. If you don't like it, you can change the channel. You can move over. You can ch choose to move. Don't ever let anybody tell you what you have to do while around them. If they don't like it, they're the problem and they're the ones that need to move on, not tell you to move on because they're the ones that don't like it. They're the ones that have a problem with it, not everybody else. So if they don't like it, quit watching it. If you don't like what I'm doing, why spend so much time on me? You guys are showing the world I'm important. I am so important that I have to, that I have to take 10 to 12 hours of your every day. You're allowing me to literally stay rent-free in your brain. That's all you're showing the world. You're showing the world that you, you when, I, when I ignore you and you can't handle it and you just got to kick scream until you get some attention, you're showing the world that. You're showing the world you're desperate. You're showing the world you don't care. And then when you get caught with your pants down and lying, you're showing how, how hip -hop, the hypocrisy that you stand by. So all you haters out there, go back to your drama channels. I'm not upset about it, but you are. And that's okay. So with that, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. We've had a great time today. We've covered a case. We are um, advocating for Taylin Mosley. Uh, clearly, it is now the, the father uh, that it appears to be the culprit, uh, especially with all the wounds that were probably indicative of the crime scene that they saw. Uh, if he had scratches and cuts on his hand, so much so he had to go to the hospital, that means he needed stitches. That's telling me that it was most likely a knife. And again, you know, there's a two-year-old baby. You always want to have hope. But when you hear a story like this and you know, you know what you know. You're like, I can't unknow the things that I know, right? Just like many of you, you guys can't unknow the things that you know. And uh, you can't unknow them. And this is not good. It's not good at all. I'll tell you that. And this is probably going to be really sad. I pray to God it's not. I'm going to go out there and give it my best shot. Uh, I'm going to work with, you know, the other volunteers that are there and the uh, police uh, to do a thorough job of, of scouring and searching the area. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have a good feeling about this. I really don't. Because if that boy was okay, he would have been with his father or left at that house. And we heard that it, it, that house was locked. So if that house was locked, I don't think that baby would have gotten out. He's two years old. He can't reach the, up there and unlock the door. So, or go outside the door and relock it, right? That doesn't make sense. So this is not good. I'm just going to forewarn everybody. Uh, we're going to go out there. We're going to give it, I promise you, we will give it our all. We will give it our all. Keep up the good fight. I hope you and Marissa are still friends. This YouTube crap is nuts. I truly adore y'all. Oh, thank you, Lisa Marie. Uh, no, uh, Marissa and I, we've, we've maintained a good, a good working relationship and a good friendship. As a matter of fact, when I found out her mom uh, passed away, um, I ended up calling her. Of course, she didn't answer her phone for the obvious reasons, you know. Um, but I did leave her a message and while I'm talking, talking on her phone, just telling her, I'm so, so sorry. It was, and every time I, I say that, my eyes start tearing up. Cause I just, I don't know. There's just something about moms, you know, losing your mom's a big deal. And it's, it's just sad. It's just sad. And I can't, I, I, I think it hurts me no more knowing how much pain she's got to be in and knowing, you know, I know, you know, this is the circle of life and, you know, this is this happens. It's still, you can never prepare yourself for it. And it's still very hard, but just, just knowing the pain that she's going through really does break my heart. It really does. And I hope everybody is kind to her, um, on the streets of YouTube, but I know there's just, there's just despicable people out there that is just going to take an opportunity to try to 
injure and hurt her even more, which is just sad. But that says more about them than it really does about her. Um, so just just be on the lookout, guys. And all I'm saying is, is you know, be careful who you support because your support, you know, you don't know who these people are on YouTube. And some of these people are criminals, like just straight up criminals, not 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 having problems in the life. I mean, straight up thugs and criminals. And you guys are supporting that and you're supporting them wreaking havoc in their community. That's what you're supporting. You're not supporting good. You really aren't. So I really hope everybody, you know, uses, you, you guys are very powerful. The audience in here is very powerful. You guys can really um, help correct, you know, Bullhorn Betty is only one person. I can't help these YouTube streets unless you guys help me, you know, it, it, these, these, some of the stuff on here should not belong on here. And like I said, I'm never going to tell you guys to go mass strike anybody else. But what I will say is if they're calling for you or their audience to mass strike somebody else, you should utilize that and mass strike that very person because they just violated the terms of service. They just violated the terms of service and what they're asking you to do for, for somebody to somebody else, you should do to them because if they can give it, they better be able to take it. If they can't, they need to stop. And this thing about you guys can be so nasty and despicable and, and say horrible things about me but when I come out with the truth and you want to take my channel, you better pack a fucking lunch. You better pack a fucking lunch. And not only that, and not only that, but you're not accomplishing anything but showing how biased, hypocritical, and disgusting you are. That's all you're showing the world. And I'm helping expose that side of it. Because you can you can cover children cases, you can cover acti activism for children. Supposedly, want to be drug thug can cover cases of children and cover all these cases. And she gets a free pass. She's allowed to do it. She's she's not a she's not picking the bones of 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 these children. She's not grifting. She's not doing anything. But let me do the exact same thing she is, and look at how they all act. You know why? Because they know we pull in better numbers than they do. I have over 4 million views on my channel. Let me go over there and see how many views she's got. Let's go. I mean, because they all say that she she's just kicking my booty. Just kicking my booty all over the place. Okay. Let's find out. Let's find out. So I've been on YouTube since November 21st, 2021, and I have over 4 million views on my channel. You go over to who to this side that that they say she rules me, right? She's got better numbers, better subs, she's making more money. That's what they were bragging about in my chat that she's making all this money. Seems like she's grifting, not Bullhorn Betty. But where is that money going? What are you spending that money on? Want to be drug thug? Are you giving gums some or are you just taking it all? Is gums getting any? Or are you just taking it all? Right? So I just went on hers. She's been on since December 26, 2020, and she has only 1,400,044 views. Excuse me, 1,444,728 views. We've got four, well, we'll say conservatively, three times more that. So who rules who? Who's being paid attention to more? Who comes with facts and doesn't get in the drama? And that's what I talk about all the time. Hate doesn't sell. All you're doing is just has your own little click. You're never going to get past that click, ever. You want to know why you're not growing? Because look at what you're doing. Look at what you're doing. You want to grow? You want to do good for the community? I'll help you. But you want to be a jerk? You want to be nasty? You want to be a disgusting, despicable person? I'll squish you like the cockroach you are. And that's what we're working on right now. But we're going to do it 
above board in accordance with YouTube's terms and service. We're going to do it according to YouTube's terms and service. And we are going to make sure that everything is exposed. We'll make sure all the information we get is from public records. And what I want from her is her to finally admit that that record I showed was absolutely hers and not a dead woman's from another county with a different birthday and a different middle name. It is closing in on you. Want to be thug, drug thug. It's closing in on you. You can only lie and deny for so long. You are a three-time convicted felon. And you want to talk about me being despicable? I've never sold drugs. And my drugs have never wound up in the hands of children. So God bless you. God bless everybody. Uh, don't forget to be fearless. If you see something, say something, as you see I do. Because an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It really is. We're going to go out there and help a little boy while the uh, the Karens are still on the phone calling the manager to have me taken out. Good day, guys. As you wake up in the morning... You want to find the latest, greatest information about criminal cases and have an intuitive conversation about the suspects associated with these cases. Head over to the Bullhorn Betty channel on YouTube. Get breaking news right here on the Bullhorn Betty channel. Welcome to the Bullhorn Betty Coffee Club. Enjoy your stay and enjoy your day.